Warning, a soul not belonging to this world has been detected. King City Second High School. The teacher said that today they would look at the first level unusual wolf type monsters. They first appeared in Chongqing 1982. They can penetrate the walls of their city and penetrate the armor of their tanks. Humanity's conventional weapons turned out to be completely useless, which led to complete defeat. The number of people quickly fell to one third of the planet's total population. With the advent of martial artists who were able to defeat monsters, people discovered that internal Kai energy could be used to fight monsters. Subsequently, the cultivation of internal Kai was added to the general secondary education curriculum. This ushered in a new era in the history of the nation's general practice and martial arts, their second high school was no exception. In this world, fierce and terrible monsters of unknown origin know no mercy, they are ready to attack and destroy humanity at any moment. There are a few days left before the entrance exams. Each of them must work hard to develop their inner Kai in order to get into a good university. One of the students sat at his desk and dozed, drooling. His name is Chen Yu, and he accidentally came to this world a month ago. Although people in the world around us have not changed, this world is still different. It's a dangerous world of martial arts. At the same moment the teacher threw something at him and the system reported that the detected soul did not belong to this world. Chen Yu jumped up sharply and said that he again needed to cover his expenses with donations. The system reported a warning, the detected soul does not belong to this world. The teacher exclaimed how he had the impudence. There are still a few days left before the entrance exams, is he still sleeping, even though he is behind? How can he be so careless? Chen Yu mentally cursed and thought that he had fallen asleep during class, and he was thrown into the body of an ordinary person who had no talent for martial arts. He is a high school student in his third year of study and he is soon going to take the university entrance exam. Compared to other victims, his program somehow doesn't work correctly. The system reported a warning, the detected soul does not belong to this world. The teacher approached him and said that in this state he would not be able to pass the entrance exams. In the current world, if he is not able to reach the first level of martial arts, how is he going to make money and provide for his family? After all, they rely on him. Does he deserve a family that worked hard to educate him? Chen Yu apologized and said that next time this won't happen again, he wouldn't dare. He thought that the program continued to send notifications. Perhaps this is what is often preferred as a system in a rebirth story, but it seems it may not be all that useful. The system reported that he had been warned repeatedly, illegal intrusion into the body is unacceptable. The curse has now officially taken effect. The curse worked successfully. Chen Yu was happy and thought, is the program working again? A curse system window appeared in front of him, which showed all the information about him. Internal Kai is 23 out of 1000, he is a level 1 martial artist. Other characteristics are not included in system statistics. Way to increase characteristics, curse, comprehensive assessment, extremely weak energy, a typical hopeless idiot, it is recommended to find tofu and crash into it to death, do not waste time, and be reborn as soon as possible. Chen Yu thought, a way to increase the characteristics of a curse. And what is this supposed to mean? The teacher put his hand on his shoulder and said that he knew he still had a chance. He was moved and said that he will not leave him, at least he keeps the class clean. But he's never had anyone repeat a year, so he needs to study hard. Chen Yu thought, where is he going with this? The system reported the effect of the curse, a change in causality. One of his classmates asked if it was still possible to help a struggling student like him. The other guy replied that this was definitely not true, after graduation he was destined to do manual labor, his future would be hopeless. Chen Yu became worried and thought, how is it even possible to be at the same level of cultivation with everyone if he ended up in a body as indestructible as rotten wood? Could his life be so miserable again even after rebirth? The system reported a change in causality. Psychological damage is received, for which 12 units are added to fortitude, 8 units to charm, 3 units to luck and 5 units to confidence. Chen Yu was surprised and thought, what is this? Do insults from classmates increase his stats? This system is a little strange, he needs to learn it, but first he will come up with a reason to escape from here. He suddenly jumped up from his seat and ran to the door, telling the teacher that his stomach hurt, he needed to go to the toilet. His teacher was surprised and called out to him indignantly. After a while, Chen Yu reached an alley near the school. The system reported that he was in a relaxed state, six units were added to Kai energy and five units to vital energy. Chen Yu thought that he did nothing and his strength increased by eight units. Does this curse change cause and effect? Could it be that he could increase his stats this way? He seems to get a stat boost if he relaxes or gets insulted. And if he works hard and receives praise, then his characteristics will decrease. He will need to experiment with this. It seems that he needs to figure out this method of increasing the level of internal Kai. After all, internal Kai is the most important characteristic for becoming a martial artist. Vital energy is probably related to health and fortitude to mana, and confidence and charm. 
Are they needed to charm girls? Ahead he noticed a guy kissing a girl. He came closer to them and told them with disgust that he had just seen the teacher heading in that direction. But the guy didn't listen to him and told him to get out of here, calling him a loser. Chen Yu walked past them and the system reported that for the insult he received 4 units in confidence and 2 units in charm. Chen Yu cursed out loud and said that since his stats had improved, so be it, he would let him go. The girl who was kissing the guy changed her appearance and asked, is he telling her? Chen Yu realized that he said it out loud and replied that he just said it out of habit, he did not mean to mock her. But suddenly he saw that the girl now had a completely different appearance, and the guy's body was withered. The guy's corpse fell to the ground. Chen Yu thought, is he dead? The girl smiled and, looking at the blood dripping from her fingers, said that since he saw her, then she would just feast on him with one rose. In fact, this girl turned out to be a level 1 poisonous gas parasite. This parasitic creature, created to attack people, parasitizes the human body and produces a poisonous paralyzing gas. She hit Chen Yu in the face and the system reported that he had received damage. 406 units were added to his vital energy, and 53 units were added to his internal Kai energy. Chen Yu mentally cursed and thought that this system sucks. What's the point of increasing stats if he has to suffer? They'll deal with him in no time. Although they give stat points for damage, he doesn't want to die. If the lungs, hearts or head are destroyed, then it will not matter how much vital energy and internal Kai he has, they will simply become useless. He needs to find a way to increase his energy to defeat the monster and escape. The girl grabbed him and said he was caught. She brought him to the wall and said that now let him be a good boy and let her try it. Chen Yu thought, what should he do? She licked it and gas began to emanate from her tongue. Chen Yu thought, is the gas it produces poisonous? The system reported that damage had been received from poisonous gas, and 13 units were added to the internal Kai energy. Chen Yu thought that this is it. Let her look at him now. He called her a girl with a long tongue and said her breath stinks. The girl got angry and slammed him into the wall with all her might, and the system reported that damage had been received and 390 was added to vital energy. The girl smiled and said that he was a cheeky little devil. Since he says her breath smells bad, she will let him inhale this poisonous gas so that he will be paralyzed to death. She opened her mouth wide, releasing poison and Chen Yu thought that he knew it, she fell for it. He grinned and began to inhale the poison. His stats began to rapidly increase with every breath he took. After that, he used the enhancement and fell on his back, and then the girl attacked him, telling him to die. But Chen Yu grabbed her hands and thought that by inhaling poisonous fumes, he could thus increase his internal Kai and, in the end, increase the level of combat skill. Now his internal Kai is 10,345 out of 10,000. He is currently a second level martial artist. Chen Yu grinned and thought it worked. The monster girl noticed his grin and became afraid, and after that, Chen Yu gathered his strength in his fist and punched her, piercing her stomach. Because of the strong blow, her eyeballs flew out of her eye sockets and a roar was heard. The system reported that temporary buffs no longer apply, the characteristics have returned to their original values. Chen Yu caught his breath and, looking at the monster's corpse, said that he had finally gotten rid of her and was able to survive. Suddenly the voices of students were heard asking what that sound was. It's like something exploded. Chen Yu thought that the matter was rubbish, if anyone saw him, it would be difficult for him to explain the situation. He'd better avoid unnecessary problems. He quickly disappeared from view, and half an hour later a girl came to this place. She looked at the corpse of the parasitic monster and wondered, did they really infiltrate the city? The monster is killed with one blow. Such powerful Kai. Could this be a second level martial artist? After a while, Chen Yu found himself at home and notified his mother about this. She was washing the dishes and asked why he was so late. He ran past her and said that evening classes took a little longer today. His mother said that he should invite his sister for dinner. Chen Yu ran into the room and thought, what the hell was that just now? Has a parasitic monster really entered the city? Should he tell the police? He glanced at his sister, who was lying on the bed and looking at something on her phone. She looked up at him and asked what he was looking at. Chen Yu thought that thank god he didn't say it out loud. He asked why she spoke in the northeastern dialect. She replied that yesterday a new colleague arrived from northeast China, she learned a few phrases. She asked why there was blood on his clothes. Chen Yu scratched the back of his head and replied that he just fell. His sister remained silent and their mother shouted that it was time for dinner. His sister got out of bed and said it was time to feed his iron stick. He left the room and said disgruntledly that he was going to change his clothes. He added in a whisper that one day he would make her regret it. The system reported that he had received psychological damage, five units were added to his fortitude. After Chen Yu changed his clothes, they all sat down at the table together and their mother, putting soup on the table, told them to eat. Chen Yu looked at the food and said that it smells amazing. He thought that by moving into this world, he was afraid that his mother and sister would change. Fortunately, with the exception of the social environment, nothing has changed. 
he took a piece of onion from his plate and put it on his sister's plate and told her that she needed to eat more onions. He thought how wonderful it was to have a harmonious family and to be loved so much. His sister took some tissue from the pack and stuck it in his rice, saying that her little brother was still growing and needed a lot of nutrients. Their mother told them to stop and let her eat in peace. Chen Yu began to eat and the system reported that eating food would take away 5 hunger units, minus 1 physique unit and minus 1 health unit. He grabbed his head and thought that he had completely forgotten about the curse. His sister looked up at him and then placed the box in front of him and said that he should not worry, she would not hurt him. Chen Yu replied that she talks too much. He opened the box and was surprised when he saw a glow. He asked, are these energy enhancing pills? After a short pause, he asked if she was selling her body. Their mother asked where she got the money for this. Sister Chen Yu indignantly hit him on the head and told him to stop talking nonsense. Chen Yu asked, then where did she have so much money to buy them? She replied that she took it from her savings. Any problems? Her mother sighed wearily and asked if she had saved up the money to buy this. But why? With her brother's characteristics, even if he eats 10 pieces, he will not be able to pass the college entrance exam. The system informed Chen Yu that psychological damage had been received, two units were added to the strength of the spirit. His sister said that she simply did not want him to repeat her fate. Chen Yu thought that two years ago, Chen Zai was targeted in the entrance exam and was considered a non-entity. This had serious consequences. He popped the pill into his mouth and thought that he needed to become stronger and protect his sister. The system immediately reported that due to the surge in healing power, internal Kai was reduced by 366, physique was reduced by 4, and stamina was reduced by 2. Chen Yu mentally cursed and thought that he had accidentally activated the curse again. He lost at least everything he earned in 3 days. Chen Zai took the box and said that there were 4 more left and so that he does not sell them, she will take them with her. From now on he can take one tablet a day, his sister will buy him more. The system reported receiving psychological damage, fortitude plus 6. Chen Yu said that she is really his sister. Half an hour later outside, Chen Yu walked through the streets of the city and thought that he could no longer remain silent. And his sister treats him so well, he should become stronger and at least help her take revenge. Inhaling poisonous gas combined with a Kai-boosting pill inspired him to come up with new ideas. He wrote in the search bar how to reduce the cultivation level of a martial artist, and came across a video of a girl who said that it was all because of online games. Martial artists will become better. The news also said that recent research shows that martial artists who enjoy indulging in lust will decrease their cultivation level faster. Another video said that martial artists don't need love. He came across a video of two men, one of them said that he hates Kai, he doesn't even want it in him. He just doesn't understand why it's getting bigger and bigger. The biggest regret of his life is becoming a martial artist. He also came across an article entitled How to Reduce the Cultivation Level of a Martial Artist. I. Lust. Smoking. The first way is poison. The most effective method is a poisonous substance that specifically damages Kai. It greatly poisons the martial artist, even returning them to the state before they gain their powers. However, such substances are considered highly serious drugs. Not only selling them, but even owning them privately is a serious crime punishable by death. No one doubts the ruthlessness of the official departments of the state. Institutes that dare to study this type of poison abroad have almost all been destroyed. Chen Yu thought that this was expected. The second way is lust. Regardless of gender, martial artists who are addicted to it will experience an inexplicable regression in their cultivation level. The exact reasons for this phenomenon remain unknown. In the scientific community, there are hypotheses such as the hormonal hypothesis, the metabolic hypothesis, human evolution and the genetic hypothesis, among others. As a rule, the stronger the addiction, the faster the Kai dissipates. Chen Yu thought that he wanted to use this method to become stronger, he would take note of it. He continued reading. This once led to fear of marriage among martial artists. That was until authorities officially declared that a typical date between men and women would have only minimal impact. This prevented martial artists from becoming extinct. The third way is smoking. The presence of alkaloids like carbon monoxide and heavy metal elements in cigarettes may slightly affect the circulation and concentration of Kai. This is considered to be the main reason for the decline in cultivation levels among martial artists in modern society. Since most martial artists often have to take risks and eat dangerous foods, they face enormous psychological pressure and need effective solace such as cigarettes and alcohol. The authorities cannot ban them directly, so they resort to constantly raising taxes, imposing sales restrictions and raising prices. Chen Yu thought that this method was not that bad. He entered the store and said from the door that he wanted to buy a pack of cigarettes. Suddenly he became embarrassed when he saw an attractive saleswoman. She asked if she wanted to buy cigarettes, right. Chen Yu thought she was quite attractive. He got embarrassed and said that he wanted to buy them. 
The girl came out from behind the counter and said that he was a liar. She grabbed him by the clothes and said that he didn't look like he was of age. She can't stand naughty kids, let him go and do some cultivation. She went to the cash register and said that he should go back to school. He doesn't want to be late, right? This made Chen Yu angry and told her not to blame him for being rude. She dangled a pack of cigarettes in front of his nose, but didn't let him buy it. He threw something at her, and after that he paid for the cigarettes and thanked her and then began to run. She ran out of the store after him and shouted that he was a stinking brat. After that, Chen Yu sat down near the stairs and began to smoke. He had already smoked more than 10 cigarettes and the system reported that he had received damage from poisonous gas and 98 had been added to his Kai energy. Chen Yu thought that with this amount he was already a level 0.3 martial artist. In terms of the standard level of a martial artist, he should be equivalent to a 0.3 level martial artist. A 0.5 level martial artist in his senior year of high school can be considered a top student. A level 0.8 master is among the top 10 in the entire school. If a person has achieved the first level of martial arts without even taking the college entrance exam, the monthly salary will be at least 10,000. After all, many university graduates tend to be proficient in first-level martial arts. As long as he has cigarettes, in a month's time for the college entrance exam, he will already be a first-level martial artist, it is not impossible for him to become the best. Some guys came out from the corner and asked who he was. How dare he smoke here on the sly? Why shouldn't he give away the remaining cigarettes as a sign of respect for his older comrades? He might get kicked for smoking alone. Chen Yu looked at them irritably and the guy asked, does he want them to report him? His friend said that if the school found out that he smoked, he would be in very serious trouble. Let him be a good boy and give them the remaining cigarettes. Chen Yu thought, how did these idiots find him? Shameless pathetic school bullies, Da Shun and Da Q. All they do is take everything from him. When they are not in the mood, they take out their anger on him, resorting to physical violence at the slightest provocation. Da Q told Da Shun that this kid has neither cigarettes nor money. What will they do with them? Da Shun replied that as always, they will beat him in the face, he is their whipping bag. Da Q grabbed Chen Yu's clothes and said that this was a great idea. But Chen Yu managed to hit him first and was thrown back. Chen Yu told them that he had tolerated them for too long. He thought that he had escaped death from the strange monster. He had no reason to be afraid of these cowards. Da Shun looked at Da Q with wide eyes and called him his dear elder brother. Tears appeared in his eyes and he turned to Chen Yu and said that this is not the end. Now he will repay him in the same coin. Chen Yu looked at his hands and thought it was amazing. With such a curse, after smoking an entire pack of cigarettes, he was able to increase his cultivation level. He now has the strength of a level 0.3 martial artist. At the same moment, Da Shun attacked him, extending his hand with a knife forward and Chen Yu noticed this sudden attack. He dodged and thought that not only could he dodge and react quickly, but he could also see all of his weak points. There are countless mistakes in his fighting style. At that moment, Chen Yu hit him in the stomach and Da Shun thought, how is this possible? This idiot has always been a weakling. When did he suddenly become so strong? As time passed, passers-by crowded around the hooligans, whom Chen Yu had stripped and tied together. People started taking pictures of them and some of them said it was so cruel. They were robbed and then stripped. This is disgusting, let them call the police. Some guy asked me to wait and said that first he would take a photo and post it. While the crowd was staring at the hooligans, Chen Yu left. He came to school and walking along the corridor thought, is this a curse? It's more like a gift from heaven. One pack of cigarettes, and his strength rose to a level 0.3 martial artist. He only needed two or three hits to defeat Da Shun and Da Qiu, who were level 0.1 martial artists. It's such a pleasure. And if he smokes 100 packs, or a whole 1000, will the same effect be achieved? Well, since he benefits from toxic substances, he will smoke every day as if it were food. Maybe with such and such strength he will be able to control the winds and form hurricanes. He didn't notice how he started saying out loud that he had small goals first. Once he becomes the most incredible martial artist, he will flirt with many handsome women. Suddenly his teacher approached him from behind and asked what he would do. Chen Yu wanted to answer him, but suddenly he got scared and shouted, what is he doing here? He almost had a heart attack. His teacher said that he was neglecting his cultivation and hovering in the blocks, so he had the impudence to leave his lessons yesterday. This can't go on any longer. Let him go to his office now. Chen Yu came to his office and the teacher told him to get ready. Let him concentrate, let him direct his Kai to the acupuncture points. He needs to feel the presence of energy in the body. Let him activate his Kai and allow the energy to flow within him. While Chen Yu listened to him, the system reported that he was in a relaxed state, for which one Kai energy was added. His teacher exclaimed that there were 33 days left until the entrance exams. Chen Yu thought, did he bring him here just for this? The teacher said that instead of dozing off in class, he should train constantly. Even if he doesn't go to university, he should at least get an associate's degree. 
he won't leave him, every student deserves a chance to grow. The system reported that due to the state of inspiration, fortitude decreases by 4 units, confidence decreases by 2, luck minus 1, charm minus 1. Chen Yu told him to stop, he would train. The teacher said that he needed to build up his kai, focus and feel the flow of energy. Chen Yu focused and the system reported that due to training, one unit of kai energy was being taken away. The teacher said he was great. Let him continue in the same spirit so he can increase his kai. Chen Yu thought this was crazy. Ten minutes later, he was still training and his kai energy was falling. The teacher said it was simply excellent, well done. Very good, he will definitely become stronger in the future. Chen Yu thought, what's good about this? If this continues, he will die in the arms of this fat man. Suddenly, someone's voice over the loudspeaker announced that all class teachers needed to gather their students on the sports ground and line them up. The message was repeated and Chen Yu asked, is this an oath ceremony? The teacher said that the oath-taking ceremony for the second high school entrance exam is about to begin. They need to go there soon, they will show everyone the new version of it. All the students gathered on the playground and the principal said into the microphone that the competition for the college entrance exam had begun. They turned the most important page in their lives. Their life can become as wonderful as the verse of a poem or song. The entrance exam will provide them with a stage to showcase their ambitions. Ten years of sword sharpening and one hundred days of horseback riding to overcome the majestic pass. Chen Yu stood next to other students who were discussing him. Someone laughed and asked when did Chen Yu start attending the oath ceremony. He doesn't have to be here. The system reported that because the crowd ridiculed him, two units were added to his confidence, and five units were added to his luck. The student said he was wasting educational resources. He fishes in troubled water all day long. He's just a loser. Their words began to irritate Chen Yu and the system reported that he had received psychological damage. Eight units were added to his fortitude. Another student said that he was unlikely to be accepted into any college. It was his bad luck to be born such a loser and to disturb them in class. Their words completely infuriated Chen Yu and he exclaimed, Haven't they had enough yet? They won't shut up. His life is his business. He is who he is. It is as multifaceted as multicolored fireworks. In response to his words, the crowd of students became angry and Chen Yu thought that it was difficult to defeat the crowd. Well, let them say what they want. The curse would still reverse the psychological damage caused by their ridicule and attacks. He'll just fight them. He will follow the example of the ancient strategist Zhu Liang, who entered into a debate with the scientists and beat them down. His teacher told him to calm down and stop making trouble. The exemplary student will now give a speech. The director said that now let them greet their eldest. Chen Yu was horrified when he saw the woman and the principal said that she was a student of the second middle school. Her name is Zing Bai, she is one of the best students at Peking University. She is also the vice chairman of the martial arts union. The teacher turned to Chen Yu and asked with a smile, does he recognize her? This is his eldest, Zing Bai. She was the city champion in her youth. He should follow her example. Chen Yu replied that of course he knows her. How can he not know her? He thought that during his sister's entrance exams, she deliberately smashed her ocean of kai into smithereens. This rubbish destroyed his sister's cultivation base. The principal told the students that they should applaud her. She walked up to the microphone and said her name was Zing Bai. First she would like to wish all the students good luck during their entrance exams. She hopes they will all achieve high results and top the lists. She will be brief and will not waste time with useless encouraging words. She wants to say that trash should not be allowed to take university entrance exams. Not only are they wasting society's high-quality educational resources, but they are also engaging in criminal activities without making any progress. The teacher turned his gaze to Chen Yu and Zing Bai said that they were skipping exams and skipping classes. For example, that person in the crowd, Chen Yu. In him she sees a reflection of his sister, Chen Zai. The university is unlikely to accept him, so she advises him to follow in his sister's footsteps and quit his studies to get a job in society. At least this way he will be able to make ends meet and meet basic needs. Chen Yu looked up at her with displeasure and asked what she just said. There was a whisper between the students and teacher Lai laughed awkwardly and said that it was his fault for not teaching Chen Yu properly. As his class teacher, he failed in his task. The director called out to him and said that was enough. He doesn't need to protect him anymore. He is the only cancer of the second high school. Getting rid of it is the only way to save this year's acceptance rate. The school's mission is to educate the first-class elite of society like Zing Bai and not waste educational resources on parasites like Chen Yu. Everyone should follow her example. She is a smart, capable girl. Let them not let their school down. One of the students called out to Chen Yu and asked, Does he know the feeling of shame? Shame on him. The teacher asked Chen Yu to be calm and Zing Bai told Chen Yu that she was offering this option. 
he will have the opportunity to prove himself. She spat on her shoe and said that if he got down on his knees and licked her shoes clean, she would write him three letters of recommendation and give him books so that he would not end up like his pathetic sister. Teacher Lai was very surprised and the director thought it was a generous offer. Chen Yu, boiling with anger, called her rubbish and the students behind him exclaimed, turning to Zing Bai, what does this mean? Isn't this overkill? Chen Yu thanked them for standing up for him. But after a second they exclaimed, why reward him? Why such an attitude towards this particular garbage? Chen Yu remained silent and Zing Bai asked, so what did he decide? Chen Yu replied that of course if he loses, he will bow down to her and lick her shoes. But if he is accepted into the university, she will apologize to his sister on her knees. The director exclaimed, how dare he? He's disrespecting the best student in the school. Not only does he not appreciate the reward offered, no, he doesn't even care about the opportunity to study. So he also had the impudence to argue with the best student. Zing Bai raised her hand and told the director that it's okay, she agrees to this bet. The director was delighted and said that he was amazed by her gambling mindset. Zing Bai didn't hesitate to make a sacrifice to support the idiot Chen Yu. How commendable. Chen Yu grinned and said that he, Chen Yu, gives his word. No matter what, he will pass the exam and get in. At the same moment, a saleswoman with an officer appeared on the stage and she, pointing her finger at Chen Yu, said that here he was, the guy who stole cigarettes from her store. The officer said that they will now draw up a report. He will make sure it is processed as quickly as possible. Chen Yu was shocked and thought that this is not it. After that they all gathered in one room and the teacher said that he was sincerely sorry. He does not believe that his student could do such a thing. The boy is stupid and doesn't know the value of cigarettes. He didn't think they were that expensive, so the theft was unintentional. The officer said that given his lack of knowledge and the fact that he initially even tried to pay, the fact that the theft was unintentional, his lack of criminal history and his age as a minor, he would recommend avoiding arrest. Any objections? The saleswoman said that since this was the case, she would not sue. The teacher said he was really sorry. Let her allow him to compensate for the damage. They left and the teacher thanked them. He apologizes for the trouble caused by his student. The saleswoman said that everything was fine, training such brats is hard work. Zing Bai smiled and said that it looks like she will win the bet early. If he is expelled, he will not be allowed to take the entrance exams. Maybe he would fall at her feet right now and lick her boots clean. The teacher turned to the principal and Zing Bai and said that when they returned to school, he would definitely teach this brat a lesson. The director exclaimed that this was enough. He threw the document at Chen Yu and he picked it up and thought, is he being expelled? The principal said that from now on he is no longer a student at second high school. This time he seriously broke the rules. The nature of his actions is inexcusable, let him get out of here. The teacher called out to the director and said that he would compensate the losses on behalf of Chen Yu. Moreover, the store owner promised not to start a case. Let him give Chen Yu another chance. Chen Yu said that this is enough. The teacher looked at him in surprise and Chen Yu, tearing up the expulsion order, told him not to waste time on pleas. He scattered pieces of paper around the room and said that the winner of the bet had not yet been determined. They will see him succeed in the entrance exams. Zing Bai said he is a tough nut to crack. She can't wait to witness his failure. Chen Yu left the room and the teacher ran out after him and told him to stop. Chen Yu turned to him and asked him to stop. He had done enough for him. He is grateful to him that he never stopped believing in him. Even though it turned out to be a disappointment in the end, causing him so much trouble, he would always remember it. With these words, Chen Yu left and the teacher said that he was an uncontrollable child. He was expelled and he acted so careless. After a while, Chen Yu found himself on the street and thought that he was in terrible trouble. He rashly demonstrated his determination to them, in the end he was expelled and he was ashamed to go home. What should he do now? He must find a way to pass the entrance exams, otherwise he will have to climb out of her shoes. He looked at the store sign and said that it was all because of the owner of the tobacco store. It's time for him to see her. He went inside and shouted, is she here? The girl greeted him with a sweet face and asked where did this puppy come from? What business did he come to his sister for? Suddenly she realized who was standing in front of him and asked, is he the cigarette thief? Chen Yu shouted that it was all her fault. Does she even know that he was expelled because of her? She was surprised and asked if the director really expelled him. She said that she was not going to hold him accountable. Chen Yu said that he was wrong and it was all his fault. The girl said that since he apologized, she would recommend him a couple of part-time jobs. She touched his chin and said that with such and such an appearance he would be guaranteed popularity. Chen Yu replied that he would earn money and pay her back, but not in this way. And in general, she went too far. Because of her, he lost the opportunity to pass the entrance exams and the chance to change his life. The girl thought, had she really gone too far? She told him not to be angry, she was just joking. Chen Yu slammed his fist on the table and asked, isn't she ashamed that she ruined the future of a diligent student? The girl began to worry and thought, maybe he really is a good student. 
What a shame that his life would be ruined because of this little mistake. She asked, then what does he want? He pushed her against the wall and said that she should help him find a school, he wants to pass the entrance exams. She thought that he really was a diligent student, and he's so handsome, she can't believe she acted so cruelly. She replied that if he gave her time, she would think of something. Chen Yu was delighted and asked, is she serious? The girl said there was one condition. He must get a job with her to work off the debt. Interesting fantasies crept into Chen Yu's head and he thought, will this really become a reality? The next day he came to work and said that he hated her. He remembered her words that she would find him school, but in return he would help her look after the store. He said that he never thought it would be a woman who would convince him. He can't believe that he agreed so easily. For the rest of his life, this capitalist will squeeze the juice out of him. He grabbed his head and said that he would live in an endless hell, working from 9 in the morning to 9 at night, 6 days a week. Time has passed. He put a can of soda on the table and, throwing his feet up on the table, said that this was so cool. He laughed and said that he could eat, drink, stick to his phone, and his Kai energy was growing rapidly. It's a pleasure to work here to pay off a debt. As a new generation of purposeful youth, they must learn to shirk and fight the evil capitalists. Sooner or later he will tie this capitalist to a lamppost. Suddenly someone kicked down the door of the store and went inside. Chen Yu turned around and said it was time to get to work. He greeted a customer at the King Tobacco store. What does he want to buy? A man named Chan Pao entered the store. He is a level 0.4 martial artist. He walked up to the counter and said that he was looking for a guy named Chen Yu. Chen Yu was surprised and said that it was him. Chan Pao pointed his finger at him and asked, so his name is Chen Yu. Chen Yu confirmed his words and asked what was the matter. Chan Pao laughed terribly and replied that he had come to buy cigarettes. Some time ago he visited Da Shun and Da Qiu in the hospital and they told him that he must avenge them. Then Shan Pao asked who did this to them. They both called Chen Yu's name and said that this is a weakling and a coward from their school, he is bullying them. Shan Pao said Chen Yu's name and told them not to be afraid, their elder brother would deal with him. Da Shun and Da Qiu knelt in front of him and Shan Pao said that he would not allow anyone to offend innocent and bright people like them. Currently, he told Chen Yu that he should give him one pack. Chen Yu asked if he wanted strong or light ones. Shan Pao replied that he wanted strong ones. Chen Yu took out the package and said that he was buying one pack of cigarettes from him 45,000 yuan. He handed him a pack of cigarettes and said that he should come again. Shan Pao grabbed his hand and Chen Yu asked what was the matter. Shan Pao smiled and gave him a stack of bills and said that there are 50,000 yuan here, no change needed. Chen Yu said that he didn't understand. What does he want to say? Shan Pao squeezed his hand even tighter and thought that a mere level 0.3 brat would not be able to withstand his strength as a level 0.4 martial artist. It will crush his hand like a carrot in three seconds. Let him die. But suddenly he felt severe pain and thought, what is happening? Chen Yu squeezed his hand back and thanked him, saying that this was his first job. It was the first time he received such a warm and sincere handshake from a customer. He is so grateful to him. Chan Pao said that he should let him go. Chen Yu squeezed his palm with his other hand and said, This is triple horsepower. Chan Pao screamed in pain and Chen Yu said that the cigarettes cost 45,000 yuan, but he gave him 50,000. The remaining 50,000 is his tip, right? He was so encouraging. He continued to squeeze his hand and Chan Pao said that he should let him go. After that he ran out of the store shouting that he was in pain. Chen Yu asked him to wait and told him to come back. He forgot his cigarettes. Chen Yu looked at the pack of cigarettes and wondered if he had left them especially for him. He is so grateful for the gift. He will take them. Some time later, Chen Yu says that today's revenue was 73,500 yuan. It turns out that the tobacco store is doing well. He needs to put the money in a safe place so that the capitalist does not decide to settle scores with him if the money disappears. He notices something lying in the box and asks what it is. What are panties doing at the cash register? Who even keeps personal things like that here? Chen Yu wonders if these are his boss's panties. I think she said she liked puppies, right? In that case, wouldn't it be? The boss comes up to him and asks what will happen. Chen Yu asks if it will be nice. He got scared and asks, is she back already? She laughed and asked if he was embarrassed. She wants to say something, but Chen Yu asks what is she doing? The boss asks if he wants to come into her room. She will show him something interesting. He refuses and says she shouldn't do this. She turns around and says he's boring. Chen Yu asks if she found a school for him. The boss says that not yet, and besides, this is not an easy task. By the way, how is his preparation going? Since he is about to take the entrance exams, he cannot relax. 
Chen Yu remembers what he did and says that today's training was fruitful. He worked very hard on his cultivation. The boss was surprised and thinks that he is a really decent and responsible guy. Not only trained, but also took care of the store's affairs. He is just a loyal and obedient slave of the system, you need to love him a lot in the future. She asks if you read today's news report. Strong radiation was detected inside space-time gate 341B, and many people died. He must behave well and stay away from the area. Chen Yu thinks that this is an ideal place for training. The next day, he says he's there. Is this the space-time gate 341B of King City? He thinks that he didn't expect that this martial arts world would have such advanced technology. According to rumors, space-time gate 341B of King City has the highest death rate. Due to the extreme danger, the number of martial artists coming here in search of treasures has sharply decreased. Those who still dare to enter the 341B gate are considered ruthless people who are not afraid of death. The gate contains incredibly strong radiation. We can say that once you go inside, you never come back. But even with such a high mortality rate, people continue to go there, which means that there must be some extraordinary treasures inside. This is real madness. He says he hopes he doesn't become one of them. The man asks him if he is ready to enter the gate. Chen Yu agrees with this. The man says that's good. All instructions are detailed in the information and reference center. He expects him to exercise due caution and ensure his own safety. He must turn the radiation shield activation key on his suit. Chen Yu says he understands. He does as he is told. The system notifies that the protective field has been successfully activated. He can go to the space-time gate. You cannot turn off the protective field while inside the portal. Chen Yu goes inside the portal and the man wishes him luck. He goes inside and says he is coming. This place looks like a space base, and he thought it would be a space station. It feels like he is inside a movie. Suddenly he suddenly became worse. He falls to his knees and asks what's going on. Why is this happening to him? He feels a strong cutting pain and feels dizzy, as if all the blood in his body was on fire. A man approaches him and asks if he is okay. The man says that this is another young man who has overestimated himself. The girl says that if his Kai is so weak, then he shouldn't have gone into the space-time gate. Chen Yu asks is this the power of radiation? What a horror, he feels like the radiation will soon kill him. He feels severe pain in his heart and screams in pain. The man says that they must help him return because he could die here. The girl says that he is a very problematic guy. If he is so weak, then he should not have come here and burden others. Chen Yu suddenly became better and the system notifies that damage was received from deadly radiation, physique increased by 14 points, health increased by 14 points, immunity increased by 10 points, vitality increased by 32 points. Chen Yu says that in the future he will definitely become stronger and smarter than everyone. The girl says that he is a complete idiot. The system notifies that damage has been received from deadly radiation. Its characteristics have been increased, physique 13 points, health 16 points, immunity 9 points, DNA resistance to ionization 19 points, metabolism 22 points, total organ strength 16 points, vision 12 points, myocardial function 24 points, muscle fibers 14 points, hearing 13 points, cellular carcinogenesis reduced by 17%. Chen Yu thinks that as he expected, the curse converted the radiation into improving his strength. It is an indescribably refreshing feeling. He says that according to publicly available information, as we move deeper into the 341B spacetime gate, the radiation will gradually increase. In fact, none of the martial artists dare to go too far, and the scope of exploration and treasure hunting is limited to the vicinity of the gate entrance. He thinks that, of course, the strength of radiation to which he adapted at the entrance is even higher here. He senses the intensity of the radiation source much more strongly. His level as a martial artist is not that high. Will his body be able to withstand such powerful radiation without receiving damage? What's the difference? Even if he suffers, the collateral benefits are too tempting. He needs to break through to the source of radiation. He is obliged to make progress in cultivation. He moves on and says that there is no one around, considering how deep he went, so it is unlikely that anyone will notice. Here he will be baptized with a curse. It's time to show off your skills in this space-base room. Now he will turn off the protective field. Chen Yu suddenly felt severe pain and thinks that he feels this feeling again. After turning off the protective field, radiation began to envelop everything around. High-intensity radiation comes into direct contact with the body. He asks, is this sensation a form of transcendence? No, this is evolution. Three hours later, the system notifies that damage has been received from deadly radiation. 
Its characteristics have been increased. DNA resistance to ionization is 131 points. Metabolism is 108 points. Total organ strength is 108 points. Vision is 120 points. Hearing is 116 points. Health is 117 points. Cognitive ability 72 points. Skin strength 130 points. Chen Yu wonders what kind of radiation this is. It's like he's getting a massage. It's so invigorating and detoxifies your muscles and skin. It's too late, he spent most of the day training here. If he doesn't return to the store soon, the boss will bother him again. Vitality, health, immunity, strength, skin strength, its characteristics have improved significantly. Just what is this noise? Not far from him, two people were fighting each other. The guy throws several swords. The girl manages to dodge this attack and delivers a jumping kick. The guy was thrown back because of this attack and he says that it turns out that she is quite experienced. The girl asks who they are. This girl's name is Bao Wang Yao, the daughter of the Bao Wang family. The guy says that since she asks so, they will answer her, but superficially. I don't want her to know who they are, because it doesn't matter anyway. What matters is that she is the young lady of the Bao Wang family. They must capture this girl and smuggle her for a good price. The two guys agree. The guy with green hair says that now she recognizes the horror of their levy group. The guy with yellow hair asks this idiot why he is saying this out loud. The girl kicks him in the face and says that she will remember the name of their group. The guy with yellow hair says that he must unleash his power on her, he must go on the attack. The third guy agrees and tells the boss that he got it. They make hand signs and the guy says they need to concentrate. Bao Wang Yao very quickly approaches the guy and attacks him. The gang boss is very angry about this and, directing energy into his fist, he says that she should not underestimate them. He strikes, but she disappears, leaving behind many butterflies. The guy asks what just happened. Bao Wang Yao ends up in the air and says that her family should not be underestimated either. She delivers a very strong kick and knocks the guy into the ground with this attack. The gang boss says that she is indeed from the Bao Wang family. Without experiencing this on your own skin, it is really difficult to assess the abilities of this girl. Bao Wang Yao is about to say something to the members of Levy's group, but she felt something strange. Her body was captured by magical energy and she fell to the ground. The gang boss laughs and says he just remembered that. This is a hidden weapon. He did damage her protective suit, didn't he? Does she know why this happened? Before she entered the gate, they secretly made changes to her protective suit. Every time she uses force to attack, she quickly damages the suit. Without a protective field, the heiress of the Baowang family is nothing more than a defenseless person. Her figure befits her status, first he will have fun with her, and then sell her. Chen Yu stops his hand and says that's enough, he shouldn't touch it. She is a young and innocent girl. The gang boss asks this guy who he is. Bao Wang Yao faints and asks who is he. She doesn't get an answer to the question and closes her eyes. Chen Yu says that such behavior is not appropriate for a warrior. The gang boss asks who he is. Chen Yu says that now since he asked this question, so be it, he will answer him. He says his name and the guy hits him in the face with his hand. Chen Yu thinks he has a very good sneak attack. He says that now it is his turn to attack. He attacks him with his right leg and thinks that it looks like he didn't succeed. The guy hits him in the face and the system notifies that due to the damage, the blood kai has increased by 485 points. The guy says he's a second level martial artist, he can't even hold a candle to him. However, he had to admit, a bug like him was not that easy to deal with. Chen Yu says he will try again. He attacks him in the face with his left foot. The guy punches him in the face and says he's trash. The system notifies that due to receiving damage, his blood kai has increased by 767 points. Chen Yu realizes that all his defenses have failed. The guy says that in the secret realm of space-time gates there are 341b, no one will know if he dies here. The system notifies that due to the damage his blood kai has increased by 310 points. Chen Yu says he shouldn't have said that. He continues to attack, giving his attacks different names. He is hit in the face and the system notifies that due to the damage his blood kai increases by 920 points. The guy is very tired and thinks, he hits it, but why? Was he really sent here on purpose? This can't be, he definitely came alone. He asks what is wrong with him. Why is he like this? Chen Yu says that it is because he wants to become the one who gains wings, this is his path. The guy thinks that this idiot didn't understand anything. He clearly has problems in his head. He loudly asks the two idiots how much longer will they pretend. They should get to him faster. The beaten guys come up to him. The guy with gray hair says that they won't stay anymore, the boss will be proud of their success. The boss says that they should help him, because this guy is not so simple. They get into poses and begin to cast spells. They simultaneously release magical energy, which enters Chen Yu's body. Because of this, he takes damage and screams in pain. 
The system notifies that he has received a weakening from the curse and his characteristics have been increased. Temporary agility 18%, temporary strength 11%, temporary reflexes 8%, temporary explosion power 10 points. He received a weakening from the curse, his characteristics were increased, temporary strengthening 8%, temporary metabolism 17%, temporary charm 16%, temporary cell activity 15%. He received a weakening from the curse, his stats were increased, temporary spirit 12%, temporary memory 17%, temporary mental stability 2%. Chen Yu thinks it's great. The guys say that if everything continues in the same spirit, his organs will quickly deplete, and his mental state will noticeably deteriorate. It's already dark in his eyes, right? Very soon he will completely lose consciousness. Chen Yu falls to his knees and thinks that they are very good people. He asks these idiots, is this the only thing they can do? Literally in a couple of minutes he will come to his senses. He thinks he can't let them stop. The gang boss tells this parasite that they are going to kill him. They must use curses again. The system notifies that due to the weakening, its characteristics are increased, temporary agility 20%, temporary strength 14%, temporary strengthening 13%, temporary metabolism 22%, temporary spirit 18%, temporary memory 25%. Chen Yu blushes and says that this is still not enough. The boss says they have to try again, they have to blow it up, they have to give it their all. The system again notifies about an increase in temporary characteristics, agility 26%, temporary strength 19%, temporary improvement in vision 32%. Chen Yu feels pleasure and says that this is simply wonderful. The guys use curses again and the boss says that they must continue without stopping. Chen Yu lies on the floor and says that he is not finished yet. What idiots they are. The boss stands over him and says that they will be done with him soon. He channels magical energy into his hand and says that right now he will rip his head off and use it as a basketball. Chen Yu stands up and sneak attacks with his hand. This attack pushes the boss back very hard and the two guys are very surprised by this. He throws another very strong punch at the gang boss. Chen Yu very quickly attacks the remaining two guys with his legs. He looks at the lying guys and says that it was somehow boring. Bao Wang Yao opens his eyes and comes to his senses. Chen Yu sits next to the guy's bodies and says that first he should see what they have. He takes out the money and asks if they only had 4,000. He supposes there's not much money on the card either, right? In any case, it's better than nothing. He had almost forgotten about her. He picks up Bao Wang Yao and says that he doesn't want to do this, but he must bring her back. Some time later, people notice him and say that this is a lady from the Bao Wang clan. They should quickly call a doctor. They must report to the medical department. We cannot allow even the slightest mistake to occur. Chen Yu watches her being taken away on a stretcher and thinks that he has exhausted his righteousness and wishes her success. Now it's time for him to mind his own business. He took off his protective suit and says that he should bathe in radiation and become even stronger. The system notifies that damage has been received by lethal radiation and its characteristics are increased. Strengthening nerve cells 73 points, cells 69 points, calcium ion 70%, health 92 points, blood chi 471 points. Chen Yu says that in the future he will become smarter and stronger than everyone. The system notifies that due to the damage received by the deadly radiation and its characteristics have increased, DNA strength 131 points, metabolism and organ strength 108 points, vision 120 points, hearing 116 points, blood chi 625 points, physique 115 points, health 120 points, immunity 96 points. Chen Yu says that he is getting stronger every time. He punches and says he has a very fast punch. It's like he's had 10 training sessions and he's quite energetic. He notices that his nose is bleeding. The system notifies that due to fatal radiation damage, his characteristics have increased, physique 9 points, health 6 points, immunity 5 points. Chen Yu asks why his growth has decreased. For sure, the body can no longer tolerate so many hot flashes. It's more like falling into magma, no matter how much blood chi there is, a person will inevitably melt. It turns out that his body is only partially able to withstand radiation, right? He runs away, putting on a protective suit and says it's time to finish. First he must leave the secret kingdom of 341B and then go to the toilet. Why is protective clothing so difficult to put on? After some time to the radiation purification room, the girl says he should change his clothes. They want to remove radiation particles from his body to prevent damage. Chen Yu agrees and takes off his clothes. The girls say that looking at him takes their breath away. His physique is the same as if he is a sculpture. She forgot to say that he should take off his underwear too. Chen Yu blushed and said that he heard everything. Besides, it was all written on their faces. He wonders if he really needs to take off all his clothes. He loudly asks them not to do this. After some time near the service area, Chen Yu thinks that he did not expect that he would one day go to real heaven. 
He remembers what happened a little earlier. He laughs and says he was just practicing a little. The girls examine him and say it's amazing that he has eight pack abs. Has he really not left the gym for several years? Deltoids are stronger than her boyfriends. He's still studying, right? They really like to help others, but will he refuse a massage lesson? Chen Yu thinks about the relationship between teacher and student. He leaves them and refuses, saying that extracurricular massage classes are prohibited. The girls say it's free, he won't have to pay. Looks like he's too good for that sort of thing. Chen Yu wonders why he refused. He bangs his head against the door and thinks that he is sorry that radiation testing can only be done once a week. Someone says that he should leave if he is not going to come in. There is a sign above the door that says training room. Chen Yu asks how did he get here. The guys ask where he saw him. For sure, he heard that he was the first to be put on the list for expulsion before the exam. Who is he? Is he really the one who hurt that girl? The system notifies that the spirit of repentance has received two points. Chen Yu is surprised that his numbers are increasing. The guys laugh and say he's just trash. No one can beat his record. Chen Yu bows, shakes their hands and says that since they are older than him, he would like to ask them for advice. In the training room, the guy asks if this is his first time in the gym. He must come here, now he will teach him real training. The guy hits the device and the inscription Warrior 0.2 appears on the screen. He asks how do they do it. He didn't even give half his best. In fact, he put in his best efforts. The second guy says that he deserves to be a rank 5 master. He is so strong. It's just that training is boring. Why don't they make a bet? He believes that his strength will clearly not exceed 0.2, so why don't they check if this is really so? The loser will have to run 3 laps naked. Chen Yu says that these conditions are quite spicy. It hits the device and the screen notifies that its force is 0.3. The guys are surprised and say that this is impossible. This can't be true, the equipment must be broken. He wants to see for himself. Chen Yu says with a menacing look that in this case he should be more careful. He hits the plate that the guy was holding and because of this attack the guy crashes into the wall. The guy looks at the screen and asks in surprise, did he manage to hit 0.68? Chen Yu turns to him and says that now it is his turn to test his strength. The guy was very scared and asked him to wait. He doesn't listen to this guy and throws a punch. This attack causes a large cloud of dust to rise. People notice this and ask what just happened. They are very surprised by what they saw. They see naked guys tied up and a sign on a piece of paper that says they are idiots. Some time later, Chen Yu thinks that there is still a month before the exam. If everything continues in the same spirit, then there should be no problems with admission. Soon Zing Yui will be convinced of everything herself and will regret it. He opens the window and says that starting today he wants girls to bow at his feet. What he saw outside the window worsened his mood. His boss lies on the bed and asks, did he say bow down? Chen Yu realizes that he is in the wrong room. He blushed and said that this was not what he wanted to say at all. He falls and ends up in her room. She asks is he here because of her. Chen Yu asks if she knows how good he is in bed. The boss is about to take off her clothes and asks if this is true, then what are they waiting for? He moves away from her and says that he was mistaken. He meant that he could go for days without eating or drinking, but just lie in bed. He runs out of the room and says he has to go. The boss smiles and says that he is just a young man. She leaves the store and says that she will ask about him again. Chen Yu bows and apologizes and wishes her a safe journey. He sits down on a chair and takes out a pack of cigarettes and says that 4,000 was just enough for four packs of cigarettes, it's time for him to challenge his immunity again. He lights a lot of cigarettes and the system notifies that due to exposure to toxic substances his characteristics increase. Lung health 14 points, body health 13 points, immunity 15 points, white teeth 2 points, fertility 3 points. Chen Yu says he needs even more. Smoke from cigarettes enters the fire extinguishing system and water immediately extinguishes the cigarettes. At the same time, gang boss Levy tells the master that the plan to kidnap a girl from the Baowang family failed because someone helped her. The man calls him trash. He shoots him with a pistol and says that he is not capable of anything, his place is in hell. Some time later, Chen Yu's phone starts ringing and he asks who is calling him. He answers the phone and his mom says she didn't want to bother him, but he needs to know something. His sister is getting married. Chen Yu is surprised and asks what did she just say. She is a monster who could withstand her character. His mom asks what did he say. He asks, this person must be a Buddha statue. His mother says that he himself is Buddha, he should quickly go home. After some time at home, an adult man is kneeling with Chen Zai with cups in his hands and he tells her mother that she need not worry because her daughter is in good hands. The door to the house opens. Chen Yu comes to them and loudly says that he does not agree with this marriage. Mom was happy and asked, so he came. The man asks if this is her ex. Chen Zai says that's not true, it's her younger brother Chen Yu. He doesn't have to worry, he's just too young. Chen Yu says he will accept the cups. 
He spent his entire childhood with his sister, watching her gradually grow, so he has a couple of questions for her future husband. He must state his name and age. The man says his name is Wang Shud and he is 34 years old. Chen Yu says that he can relax, these are just casual questions. Wang Shud says that he is the son of the owner of the factory where his sister works. He has several apartments with him in luxury complexes. He also has a lot of cars. His money is enough so that his sister does not need anything. Chen Yu asks what attracted him to his sister. Wang Shud blushes and says that he was attracted by her personality and figure. Chen Yu asks, is that all? He was embarrassed and said that of course that's not all, he also liked her tenderness. Chen Yu wonders what kind of lie is this about his sister being gentle. He yawns and asks if he considers himself attractive. Although it is clear that this is not so. His sister doesn't like beards, why didn't he shave it off? Unfortunately, he cannot approve of their marriage. Chen Zai starts beating him with a frying pan and asks, and he calls these serious questions. Wang Xud says that he'll probably go, because he doesn't like her that much. Chen Yu says that he saw everything himself. Exactly the same attitude will await him in marriage. Chen Zai grabs his ear and tells him that he should follow her. She closes the door to the room and asks him what is he thinking about. Chen Yu asks if she really likes him, or does she want to help him with his help? Chen Zai says that he doesn't understand, ordinary people's lives are too complicated, some factors are much more important than feelings. After all, both she and the whole family need his money. Chen Yu says that in that case. He runs to Wang Xud and says that he approves of their marriage. Chen Zai is very surprised by his behavior. He hugs him and asks him, as an apology, if he would like to go for a walk. Wang Xud asks where he wants to go. After some time at the foot massage center, Wang Xud asks why he brought him here. Chen Yu says that he just wanted to go for a long time, but it was expensive. A man working in this establishment recognizes Wang Xud and, very happy, says that he has not been there for a long time and he can come in. He clears his throat and says that this is the director of the foot massage center. In the past he came here with some clients. Chen Yu says he doesn't need to explain himself, he believes him. He goes inside. Wang Xud follows him and tells the director that he should stop talking so much. It's his fiancé's brother, he almost ruined everything. The director quietly says that he was gone for two days and the girls already missed him. They have a new girlfriend. Wang Xud remembers what happened before and laughs. He calmed down and says that he can forget because today is not the right time. The director says that one of the girls only needs a few sips to lose consciousness. Wang Xud takes out a wad of money and says that their goal today is to make the guy happy. They must give him whatever he asks for. Chen Yu wonders if he really wants to get him drunk that bad. Does he really think that everything will go so easily with him? Three girls approach them and thank them for coming to have fun. Chen Yu says these girls are not bad. The girl sits down next to him and asks him to have a drink with her. He agrees and asks, where is the alcohol? The girl points to herself and says that it is here. Chen Yu starts drinking alcohol from a glass. The girl says he has a good attitude. The system notifies that due to alcohol consumption, his characteristics are increased, sobriety 5 points, health 2 points. The girl says that he should drink with her too. The other girl says that he should have a drink with her too, and in return she will fulfill his request. Chen Yu laughs and says that they should continue drinking. The system notifies three times that due to alcohol consumption, his characteristics are increased, sobriety 15 points, health 6 points. Chen Yu laughs and says that these beauties made him very drunk. How much did they give him? Wang Xud wonders why he hasn't gotten drunk yet. The beauties are so close, but he cannot touch them. It had been a long time since he had shown such patience. He throws money on the table and says that he gives him 30,000 for alcohol. Chen Yu is very happy and says that he is very generous. He continues to drink alcohol and thinks that he has almost had enough fun. He lies down on the table and Wang Xu tells the girls that the night is just beginning. He takes off his shirt and says that he is on his way to them. The phone is on the table and the camera is pointed in its direction. As it turned out, Chen Yu turned on the stream from his phone and filmed what was happening. Some time later, the policeman takes him away and says that there is no place in the world for such obscenities. He was arrested for distributing illegal materials. Wang Xud goes after the policeman and asks where did the police come from here. Chen Yu wishes him a safe journey. After that, he goes to the store where he works and says that he is tired. He sees the boss and asks what kind of benefits are these when hiring. She says that his problem with the educational institution has been solved. Chen Yu was delighted and asked where he would go. The boss asks why such a rush. Didn't he want to think about paying first? Chen Yu wonders if she is giving hints. This is a gift from God. Some time later, the man asks, is there anyone in the tobacco shop in King City? He must sign. Chen Yu says he is on his way. Inventory completed, 14 packs of cigarettes received. He wishes the courier a safe journey. A man standing in a dark alley asks the second and third, has the target's location been confirmed? The other man agrees and tells the boss that it is him. 
The guy with red hair says that he has to stop and Chen Yu stops. The guy says they're a murder squad mat. Chen Yu turns to them and asks who they are. The guy says that in the secret kingdom of 341B, their kidnapping plan failed. He left their brother crippled. The guy with yellow hair asks the boss if they should just go to the tobacco store and be done with it. The gang boss tells this idiot that they were given orders to capture him alive so that they could bring him in and castrate him. Chen Yu watches them get into strange positions. The boss asks if he was eavesdropping on their secrets. Chen Yu says that seems to be the case. They said they wanted to castrate him. The boss runs to him and says that he must die. Chen Yu takes three hits and defeats these guys. The boss says that it turns out that they were seriously mistaken about his martial arts rank, since he is at the peak. But what is his level? He doesn't have an ounce of hatred in him, but he still beat them up. It turns out that he has the 8th level. No wonder the organization is looking to get rid of him. He thinks that they only wanted to ask him to come with them, because they have a couple of questions. He asks where did a rank 8 person even come from? This freak must be deceiving him. Even if he dies here today, he will never betray the boss. They Chen Yu goes to him and the guy asks him to stop. He says that they are from the Leiwei Company, which owns fitness clubs, real estate and is engaged in retail trade. At the time of 2023, this company is among the top 100 high-quality charities throughout the country. Their development goal is to capture the heiress of the Baowang family. Their organization even became one of the shareholders of the secret kingdom of 341B in addition. He also injured their people, and they were sent to capture him. Chen Yu asks if it turns out that he is from the same organization as those three guys from the secret kingdom who are trying to kidnap the girl from the Baowang family. The Leiwei company is very famous, he didn't think that he was doing such things. He had better follow him obediently to Leiwei's company, they wouldn't leave him alone anyway. The guy asks, even if he can save them, what does he think will happen to his mother and sister? Even if he can save himself, what does he think will happen to his family? The company is quite capable of making one family of three disappear from the face of the earth without a trace. Some time later, the police officer tells the boss that there is trouble. The man asks what happened. The policeman says something happened outside. The guys were naked and tied to a pole. There was also a voice recorder tied to the post and the guy says that they are the Leiwei campaign, one of the shareholders of the secret kingdom of 341B in the secret kingdom. Their plan to kidnap and sell the heiress of the Baowang family was destroyed, in addition, their people also suffered. Chen Yu thinks that he didn't expect to get into such trouble. He needs to take action and get rid of Leiwei's company, no one will dare to threaten his family. Firstly, he will use the money obtained in the secret kingdom and the tens of thousands that his sister's ex-fiancé left behind. The man with the cigarette says welcome to Kuryu's pawn shop. Does he want to sell or buy something? Chen Yu puts the list on the table and asks if he has what he needs. The man looks at the list and is surprised to see it. He says that he shouldn't ask whether to eat or not, as long as he has the necessary pass, access to the black market is open to him. Some time later, the man tells the boss that the three people sent to catch Chen Yu ended up at the police station. The boss says that he knows about this, he will find people who will sort everything out. They are just trash and nothing more, they couldn't even cope with some guy. He must contact the second rank mercenaries and send for his family. Another guy comes up to him and tells the boss that the wine is ready and he can try it. The boss says he can pour it. He smells the wine and says that the aroma is quite subtle and soft, it deserves to have the status of the best wine. Do they know why he prefers red wine? In addition to its exceptional taste, it lowers cholesterol levels. While he drinks it, he imagines it as if it were the blood of haters. Some guy won't be able to stop him from carrying out his plan to capture a girl from the Baowang family. He will skin him alive and drink all his blood. Taking a sip of wine, he abruptly spits it out. He asks what is this? Why does this wine taste so disgusting? The guy says this can't be. This is an elite red wine that was only opened today. The boss throws a jug of wine and asks if they really thought they could give him something fake to drink. The guy apologizes to the boss and says that he will sort everything out. Suddenly someone knocks down the door, which hits the guy. The boss is surprised and asks who did this. Chen Yu asks what's wrong. Did he really not like the urine? The boss asks, is he Chen Yu? He is the guy whom they could not teach a lesson for so long, he himself came to their door. Chen Yu asks, he was looking for him himself, right? He is at their service. Was that wine tasty? The boss got worse and he tells this freak that it was he who counterfeited the elite red wine. They must seize him immediately. His subordinates immediately begin to attack him. Chen Yu sprays something in front of his subordinates and they shout loudly that their eyes hurt. The boss asks, was it a gas spray? With such abilities, he also dared to protect that girl. Chen Yu says that this is all for their sake. He holds in his hand a can of capsaicin and a high concentration gas can for $5,000. He splashes it in his face and the system notifies that he has received damage from irritation and his characteristics have improved, temporary improvement in vision 90%, vision 6 points. 
Chen Yu throws away the can and says they can attack. The boss gets angry and asks why did they stop. They must seize him immediately. He thinks this guy definitely has problems in his head. His subordinates immediately begin to attack him. Chen Yu hits the guy and says it was too slow. He spots a man at 8 o'clock and kicks him. He notices the other guy and throws a strong punch. The boss looks at this and wonders if he could really knock out these first level workers so easily. He asks who is he. It can't be that he's just an ordinary high school student. Chen Yu says that this question is easy to answer because he is a good person. He takes out his sword and says that he is a good man and the boss is bad. The boss tells this freak that he will have to pay a high price for killing him. Suddenly someone hits Chen Yu in the face. He opens his eyes and asks who was it. The strong man says this guy should be calmer. The boss says it's great, he's finally come, he didn't waste his money in vain. Chris, with the third rank of martial arts, says he apologizes to the boss for waiting. Chen Yu attacks him and asks where did this freak come from. He will kill him right now. Chris uses his skill and releases his magical palms, which he uses to strike. He immediately grabs Chen Yu and slams his head onto the floor. He says that his energy, agility, strength, reflexes, everything is strange. The boss says he did a great job. He will get a lot of bosses this year. Chris says that he is quite brave to come to Leiwei's company alone. Chen Yu strikes very quickly with his sword, but Chris stops his strike and says that he should stop fantasizing. A surprise attack is good, the only problem is that their difference in strength is too great. The boss says he's great and should keep him. He takes out a gun and says that he will shoot him right now. He takes a shot, but what he sees greatly surprises him. Chen Yu takes out a grenade and says that if he makes one more move, they will all blow up. The boss asks who he is. Does he have the courage for this? Chris says he has to let it go. Suddenly the grenade explodes and emits a very bright glow. The boss kneels down and says that it turns out it was a flash bomb. Chris tells this guy that he will kill him. The system notifies that due to damage from bright light, its characteristics are increased. Temporary improvement in vision 4646 points, vision 10 points, energy 13 points. Due to damage from bright light, his characteristics are increased. Temporary hearing improvement 2750 points, temporary balance 1768 points, temporary mental stability 4755 points, lung health 16 points, hearing 15 points, energy 280 points. Chen Yu says that's great. It turns out that even a person with the third rank is afraid of flash bombs. He runs up to Chris and strikes very quickly with his sword. At the same time, the store manager cuts sausages and says that Chen Yu has been trying very hard lately in the tobacco store, which has helped her a lot. She will cook a dish of scrambled eggs and fried intestines for dinner, he will most likely like it. At the same time, Chris screams very loudly in pain. He says he hates it. He doesn't want to be a woman. Chen Yu dodges his attack and punches him. The store manager cracks an egg and fries it. The boss is very scared because he sees Chris falling unconscious. He calls his subordinates trash and says that he spent so much money, but in the end he only paid useless people. He notices something and looks. Chen Yu says that he wants him dead, for this he even began to threaten his family, in which case the only way out is his death. The boss asks him to wait and says that their plan was only to talk to his family, no one was going to do anything. He admits his mistake and hopes that he will give him a chance to improve. He wants to become a good person. Chen Yu looks at him with great anger, turns around and says that he hopes that in the future he will give up thoughts of atrocities. The boss kneels down and thanks him for being very merciful. He thinks that he is a complete idiot for letting him go. Today was not an easy day. He suffered losses, humiliation and hatred. He will return everything to him in full. He gets very angry and says that tomorrow he will feed his seven dogs. Chen Yu throws a grenade and says that he has changed his mind, he must die. The boss is very surprised by this and begins to run away from the grenade. He jumps out the window and turns around and thinks that he can't be killed so easily. He realizes that he jumped out of the 33rd floor window. His face changes and takes on a grimace of horror. He screams loudly out of fear. Chen Yu asks, was this idiot the boss of Leiwei Company? How soon did he have the courage to set his sights on the Baowang family? He was scared of an ordinary toy. The grenade he threw turned out to be a $10 plastic toy grenade. Some time later on the second floor of a tobacco store. The boss says that there are 10 days left before the entrance exams. Chen Yu agrees with her. She asks what he thinks he can do with his powers. He says that most likely there will be no problems. The boss spilled something and said that it was very hot. Chen Yu hands her a towel and tells her that she should take this and dry herself off. She asks if they can make a bet. If he can get in, she will help him with something. Chen Yu says she can forget about it, gambling is a bad idea since he is still studying. The boss asks if he really doesn't want this. She would help him find some beautiful girl. 
Chen Yu imagines this and says that the bed is not that big, so why shouldn't he agree? The boss says that she is this beauty. He says that in that case, it's not a good idea. She laughs and says that he is still too young, so he cannot appreciate the degree of happiness that has befallen him. But she would really like him to at least go somewhere with her. Some time later, she goes to the big tree and says that she never dared to come here before. It reminds her of many things. Chen Yu asks what does she mean. The boss says that at the stage of entrance exams they did not know each other yet. They entered the same institution, studied the same subjects and were very similar, and were destined to grow old together if her fiancé survived. In the future they could have children who would also go to school and then to university. Chen Yu wonders if the boss treats him like a son. Is that why she helps him so much with his admission? He also needs to help her somehow. He says that he will not let her down, he will pass all the tests and go to university. The boss starts crying and asks if this is right. Chen Yu scratches his nose and says that she doesn't have to worry because he will take care of her. She blushed, and turning away said that she was not so frivolous. Chen Yu asks what was she thinking. He will take care of her like his own mother. The boss grabs his hand and says that she was just thinking about something else. In that case, they can go to one place and have a good time relaxing there. Chen Yu thinks that sooner or later he will get to her. After some time in the building where they do massage, he asks why she brought him to such a place. This is bad. The boss asks what's wrong with that. He's already an adult, it's time for him to experience all the delights. The man recognizes him and tells Brother Yu that he hasn't visited them for a long time. How will he have fun today? The boss asks what's the matter, do they know each other? Chen Yu says that he doesn't know him. She asks then why is she calling him Brother Yu? Chen Yu points his finger at him and asks, is she right, why is he calling him that? The man panicked and said that he completely forgot. The boss hits the two of them and asks are they completely idiots. The system notifies that due to physical damage his blood kai has increased by 5 points. Chen Yu says that he is also known as an honest person. How could he go to such places? There must be some kind of mistake here. The girls recognize him and say that it's him. He must choose them this time too. The boss is very angry about this and the air around her lights up because of her growth. The first girl is told that she is not feeling well today so she will not be able to get to work. The second girl says that she gave birth today, so she can't work at all. Chen Yu says, that his baby is due today, so he needs to be home at 8. The boss flexes her fist and says that she can look at his child. He refuses and says that he didn't come here of his own free will, he just wanted to practice skills, she asks, by skills he means how to cook rice. The system notifies that due to psychological damage, his spirit has increased by 10 points. He starts to run away and she asks this freak where he ran. How can he do this to her? Chen Yu says that she must understand that this is necessary. At the same time, a lot of big monsters have gathered somewhere in the forest. The guy asks what should they do. Zing Bai says that the animals have gathered in a circle, most likely they don't have much time and opportunities. The guy asks if they can come back and report everything. She asks if he really thinks he can't handle it alone. The guy asks, what is she even talking about? Does she want him to act on his own? Zing Bai says the most important thing is to spread the news about the beasts. She grabs him by the shoulder and asks if the end of a true warrior should be death in battle. The guy says that her skills are fine, maybe she can take him with her. They still have a chance of salvation. Zing Bai says that this will reduce the chance of success during the breakthrough. The guy falls to his knees and says that she must run and save herself. She says that humanity will remember his sacrifice. She jumps very high and flies away using magical energy. The guy notices an object emitting a very bright light and says that this is bait. It turns out that she set him up. Zing Bai runs away from there while the monsters go to the guy and says that hundreds of thousands of people in the city of King will be grateful to him. After a while, in the government of the city of King, members of the government gathered at a long table and the man who sat at the head of the table said that Zing Bai is the best student at King University, she is the pride of their country. So how could Zing Bai's team just disappear into King City? Four days later, three corpses were found. The frightened man said that the last location of Zing Bai's group was probably very dangerous. Must be someone fierce. At the same moment, the door to the meeting hall swung open and a bloodied Zing Bai walked inside. Everyone immediately turned in her direction and the man asked where she was from. Why is there blood on it? She replied that their team's mission was to investigate strange beasts outside the city. Except for her, the other three are dead. The man asked how they could die. She squeezed the blood out of her hair and said that it was all because of the influx of these beasts and their target is the city of King. The man exclaimed in surprise, what does this mean? Zing Bai's team went deep into the danger zone, 
they receive quite a lot of valuable information, such as the size of the animals, their direction, speed, movement, distribution of forces, race composition. Zing Bai approached the man and said that let him sound the alarm throughout the city, they need to be prepared to stand up for themselves. Five minutes earlier, at karaoke, the boss was singing a song and Chen Yu thought that he had to admit that her posture was just right. It's a pity that she doesn't have much of an ear for music, it's like she's been on a battlefield under explosions. She finished singing and asked, how do they like her singing? Chen Yu awkwardly replied that he remembered a proverb, talent is not that important. The boss asked, isn't hard work the most important thing? She began to approach them threateningly and Chen Yu asked what is it. He wanted to say that he was very impressed by her singing. Suddenly they heard a siren and Chen Yu asked what those sounds were. The boss got scared and said that the city was put on alert. Chen Yu quickly turned towards her and asked what does this mean. The boss thought that as soon as the animals were here, the city would obviously be in trouble. She grabbed Chen Yu's hand and said they were leaving. Traffic jams began to appear on the city streets and people crowded into the streets. Chen Yu looked around and thought that this was some kind of evacuation. Is this how they want to warn people about danger? A security officer told people through a loudspeaker to stay at home. They should not go out anywhere, let them save the weaker part of the population. Pregnant girls and minors are considered the weaker part. Only minors and pregnant women have the right to evacuate. Some man grabbed the girl and took her to the car, telling her not to waste time. Let her sit down first, her mother will come later. The girl began to cry and the intelligence officer said that the first level warriors should prepare their weapons and equipment, they need to go to the eastern wall and prepare to defend themselves, they need to buy time. Boss Chen Yu grabbed his head and asked what he was worth. She pushed him into the taxi and told him that the driver would take him to safety. Chen Yu asked, what about her? She slammed the door and ran. Chen Yu asked where she was running. She replied that she was going to the east wall. While people were running in the opposite direction from the wall, she ran there and thought that all warriors above the first rank should take part in the resistance. At the same time, the driver took the little girl and Chen Yu to a safe area. After some time, he took them to their destination and said that as long as they were here, nothing would happen. Chen Yu said that he needed to call his mother. The driver went back to the car and said that if they lived, then the losses were not in vain. Chen Yu told him not to worry, he thought everything would be fine. He called his mother and said that he was at the evacuation point. When did the police begin preparations for evacuation? She replied that soon. He hasn't seen his sister. She went to look for him. Chen Yu got scared and asked, is his sister? Suddenly someone threw a bag at him and he asked who it was. He looked up and saw his sister, who said that he hadn't even packed his things. What was he doing? The passbook is in this bag. She also brought some food that will come in handy during the evacuation. Chen Yu asked why she was giving the passbook to him. Let them wait until they are evacuated and then take it with them. She hugged him, calling him an idiot, and said that the animals are already here, there will be no second wave of evacuation. Chen Yu said that she is their mother then. She confirmed his words and said that everything was as he thought. Reality is cruel, but he must live. A tear ran down her cheek and she said that their mother was waiting for her at home, she had to go. She headed towards the house, waving her hand at him one last time, and Chen Yu thought, should he leave his family and wait for them to die? Stay alone. How can he do this? There is no point in living without family. He headed towards the wall and thought that the city should not be destroyed. Not this. Meanwhile outside the eastern city gates, the man said that all warriors above the first rank need to register. Chen Yu ran up to the crowd of warriors and said that it turns out that they are not ready to die either. He looked at the girl who did not want to participate in the massacre and said that in fact, fear of death and selfishness are among the most striking human traits. The girl asked what he was talking about. The warriors will die while they fight the beasts. She used her strength to push the soldiers away from her and then walked towards Chen Yu and hit him, saying that if she was going to die, she would kill him first. The system reported poison gas damage, 4587 added to health, 100 added to strength, 2 to agility, 422 to attack. Chen Yu grinned and said that he liked such fighting girls. The girl was surprised and asked how so. Its poison is capable of destroying even second rank beasts. He hit her and said that she was too weak, he was already sick. He just wants to live. What's wrong with that? And those who sit at home and wait for their death, she thinks, do they not want to live? Other warriors don't want to. If everyone thinks only about themselves, humanity will immediately die out. He climbed the wall and, looking at the monsters who were destroying the city, asked, but they need a different outcome, right? The commander called out to his comrades and said that King City is their home. Therefore they must defend their city with flesh and blood. For humanity, for the city of King. He raised his sword and called everyone to attack. They need to start a confrontation. The warriors obeyed him and the system informed Chen Yu about the eardrum injury, spirit minus 54. At that same moment the battle began, machine guns fired from the walls of the city, 
and the soldiers fought below. Chen Yu walked up the stairs and thought that he would find his boss. Is this the battlefield? Such an atmosphere even makes his heart skip a beat. The old man put his hand on his shoulder and said that there are very dangerous animals ahead. He thinks it's better for him not to interfere here. The system reported the insult, spirit plus 42. Chen Yu also put his hand on his shoulder and said with a smile that he talks too much. The old man said that even if he is not devoured, other warriors will need time to save him. This is such a waste. The system reported the insult, spirit plus 32. Chen Yu said that he was of course right. But waste, waste are those strange beasts. He continued further up the stairs and the old man told him not to fight alone, it was too dangerous. Chen Yu thanked him, calling him a one-eyed old man and said that after his consolation, he was no longer so nervous. Well, it's time for him. At the same time, the monsters reached the city walls and began to devour the machine gunners. Chen Yu rushed past the monsters, took out his sword, and cut off their heads. He looked around and thought, where is his boss? He can't find her anywhere. Maybe she didn't come to the wall. But this cannot be. At the same moment, someone attacked him, but he managed to dodge in time and thought that it was a sneak attack. Now it was quite dangerous. A rank 2 spider girl appeared behind him, and her spider threads were sharp as a knife. She told Chen Yu that he had killed so many of her comrades. She held him close and said that she was going to slowly torture him and then gradually pull out the meat, she would tear him to pieces. Chen Yu looked up at her and said that her breath stinks. She got angry and said that he's the only one who stinks in here. She tied him with threads and Chen Yu thought, is he unable to escape? The girl said that the more he struggles with the threads, the tighter they become. The system reported compression damage, internal health plus 119, bone strength plus 465, energy plus 86. Chen Yu felt a surge of strength and said that it was squeezing him so tightly, he doesn't even want to get out. The spider girl came with his paws and said that he was a pervert, let him die. The system reported compression damage, his internal health, bone strength and energy increased. With this, Chen Yu quickly cut the monster into pieces and thanked the system for its help. Then he looked at the spider girl, who was left without arms and legs, she said heavily that she lost, but the final victory was still theirs. Chen Yu asked what does this mean? The girl, with her last breath, called out to the giant beast and told it to advance. Chen Yu turned around and asked, what is this? He saw huge rank 5 poisonous monsters in front of him, heading straight towards them. The commander ordered to open fire and the shells flew at the monsters at high speed, making huge holes in their bodies. But these were not mortal wounds for them, they went on the attack again and the commander said that they were being healed. Their wounds immediately heal. Is it possible to defeat them? One of the warriors said in fear that this is the end, it's all over. The beast's belly began to swell and it spat out acid, and then screams were heard that they needed to run and hide. Chen Yu dodged the drops of acid while running for cover. He hid behind a box, behind which there was already a guy, and asked if he was okay. The guy did not answer and said that the leader of the monsters is already here, this is the end. Their fearless squad is finished. Chen Yu asked, fearless. He pushed it aside and said he had a bad feeling about it. He ran and thought, this can't be true, can it? The boss didn't go to certain death, did she? At this time, a detachment of warriors was fighting below, and among them was its leader. She stuck the weapon into the monster's leg and turned it over. The monster fell, knocking other monsters down and someone said that the suicide squad was surrounded. It was becoming increasingly difficult to contain the monsters. The boss noticed the leader of the animals and thought, how is this possible? After it killed her husband, she looked everywhere for news about it, and in the end it showed up to her. She laughed and said that she would finally finish it today. At this time, Chen Yu looked down from the wall and, noticing her, thought that he had finally found her. The old man tried to stop him, telling him not to go there, it was certain death. Too late. Chen Yu agreed and said that he was right, but he was not someone who would give up easily. He jumped down and said that that's why he wouldn't go back until he reached the south wall. At the same time, his boss gathered all her energy and headed towards the monster and, sticking her weapon into it, told it to taste the energy coming out of her body. After that she jumped away from the monster and said that it is not invincible. But at the same moment the beast healed the wounds and she fell on her back, looking at the monster in shock. It walked towards her and she apologized to her dead husband, saying that she had failed. She thought that she had already resigned herself. Everything is fine, so if someone wants to help her, then they shouldn't. She closed her eyes and told her husband that she was coming to him. At the same moment, Chen Yu appeared in front of her and asked, has she already given up? He picked her up in his arms, but the monster was already behind him and he thought it was too fast, he wouldn't have time to hide. All he can do is take risks. The beast wounded his back and threw him away. But Chen Yu was able to land softly and the system reported that damage had been received, health plus 1526, agility plus 456, energy plus 325. He thought it was good that he tried, he should have gone further away. 
Fortunately, the blow was not fatal, otherwise he would have already been a corpse. His boss lifted his shirt and asked if he was okay. She will examine his wounds. Chen Yu replied that he would take off his clothes when they were home. And now there are too many extra eyes. He took out a gun and fired a few shots, and after that he told her not to worry, they would use the beasts as a barrier to prevent the main beasts from passing through. They began to shoot back at the monsters and Chen Yu said that the animals were subordinates of the leader, so it would not harm them. They dealt several blows to the monsters and Chen Yu, running forward, said that they need to advance to the city wall. Suddenly his boss noticed something behind her and called out to Chen Yu. The giant beast spat acid and the boss exclaimed, why was nothing said about fighting skills? Chen Yu picked her up and ran on, saying that the beast does not care about the lives of his comrades at all. The beast's flesh dissolved in the acid and the giant attacked again. Chen Yu dodged the acid and his boss said that this was the worst spit. Chen Yu dodged again and told her to be more cultured. They continued to avoid the acid, but one drop still fell on Chen Yu and he said that the saliva was just what was needed. The system reported damage from an unknown liquid, temporary health plus 478, temporary agility plus 547, temporary energy plus 126. That same second the monster grabbed his boss by the leg and threw her up, and after that it hit her on the ground and blood sprayed from her mouth. The giant again spat acid, which headed straight towards her, but Chen Yu blocked it with himself and cried out slightly in pain as the acid began to eat away at his back. He opened his mouth in a silent scream and his boss said that he was crazy. Why is he doing this? Chen Yu continued to stand still and she touched his cheek and asked how she could pay him. He smiled and asked if she could take him to the entertainment complex. The system reported that temporary enhancements had been activated and Chen Yu thought that he had activated the hidden power of the curse. The system reported damage from an unknown liquid, temporary health and agility with energy improved significantly. Chen Yu's entire body was filled with strength and energy began to emanate from him. He smiled and said that this was exactly what was needed. You can't kill him with poison. The giant monster told the others to grab him and they obeyed, after which they immediately attacked Chen Yu and the boss and surrounded him. But Chen Yu splashed out energy that threw back the monsters and he, looking resolutely at the monsters, began to wait. The most important monster attacked him, but Chen Yu used his strength and took off his head. He was thrown back and he thought that after all, his condition was noticeably worsening during the breakthrough, the body's capabilities were going beyond what was available. He began to lose consciousness and the boss caught him, saving him from falling. Tears appeared in her eyes and she thanked him for helping her take revenge. If something happens, she will definitely save him, even at the cost of her life. At the same time, the warriors continued to attack the monsters from the city walls. One of them approached the commander and said that according to estimates, the mortality rate among warriors would reach 90% and this will happen in the near future. He hopes he can ensure his safety. The commander said that he would fight until the very end. The warrior exclaimed, but is it somehow possible? The commander grabbed him by the clothes and asked if he doubted him. Vo replied that this was not so, but is this possible? At that same second the animals began to retreat and the commander asked in surprise why they changed direction. The warrior replied that he did not know. The commander said that the king city was saved. The warrior said displeasedly that someone must have interfered. The commander exclaimed, would he like a different ending? Was it not he who caused the tide of beasts? Meanwhile, a little further along the wall stood a detachment of warriors. The girl asked the captain, is it okay if they do this? He said that all responsibility for what happened would be on him. Some guy in his squad said it wouldn't work. The captain raised his hand to signal them to be silent and said that it was only deaf. After a while, in the hospital, Chen Yu jumped out of bed and thought, is he dead? He saw nurses in front of him, piling on him and telling him to take his medicine. Chen Yu thought, is this heaven? Then why should he take medicine if he is already dead? Turns out he's alive. Is King City okay? He jumped out of bed and told the nurses not to chase him, he wouldn't take any medicine. He'd rather die. He stopped when he noticed his boss in a hospital bed. The doctor asked the nurse if the patient had any family members. Her energy is very depleted, so now she is in a coma, she needs to start treatment immediately, otherwise, her brain cells will begin to deteriorate. Chen Yu said that he is a member of her family. Let him help her. The doctor said that the cost of the operation would be 400,000. Chen Yu said displeasedly that she was protecting the city. Will they really not provide any subsidies? The doctor replied that he understood his reaction, but in order to heal it, it was necessary to inject the energy of other warriors for 10 hours. In this situation, donors are also at great risk. Officials already provide people with energy, they are not capable of more. Chen Yu said that in that case, they need to start. The doctor asked if he was about to start treatment, but first they need to go downstairs, pay the money, and then contact the government. Chen Yu began to put things in the bag and said that he meant to write it out. The doctor was very surprised and Chen Yu thought that because of the curse, 
His energy was not exhausted, so he was the most suitable person to save her. After that, he brought her home and said that the damned energy had just run out, now is the time. The system reported that energy had begun to be consumed. Chen Yu put his hand on the naked body of his boss and began to call the great Buddha, saying that everything was for the sake of her healing. Morning came, the boss covered her eyes from the bright morning sun and got out of bed, saying that she was so warm. She stretched and said that she felt so good. She looked down and noticed that she was naked, after which she immediately covered herself with a blanket and asked what happened. She had no habit of sleeping naked. Who took off her clothes? She noticed Chen Yu aside and asked how he ended up in her apartment. And what's wrong with his face? Chen Yu fell to the floor and asked, does she really not remember? How could she forget about it? He stuttered and said that last night she cornered him and wanted to. But he immediately stopped short and told her to forget about it, he doesn't want her to be responsible. His boss was surprised and thought, did she really do this? She imagined them both in bed and asked in shock, did she really do that? She smiled awkwardly and apologized to him, saying that she didn't mean to, but just wanted to taste the young man. Chen Yu laughed and pointed his finger at her and said that he didn't think she was such a person. He just shared his energy with her. She got angry and asked, is he funny? She hit him with a pillow and exclaimed, how dare he? Chen Yu grabbed his head and said that he was mistaken, he will not mock him anymore. She kicked him out of the room and said that she would be changing clothes, so don't let him come in. She slammed the door behind him and Chen Yu, sitting down on the floor, said that it's so difficult with girls. He took out his phone and said that he was busy treating his boss, so he didn't even contact his sister and mother. How are things going in the city? Meanwhile, at the entrance to the shelter, his mother approached everyone passing by and asked if they knew Chen Yu. She grabbed some guy by the hand and asked if he had seen her. Why hasn't he come out yet? Chen Zai walked up to her mother and told her to stop. Suddenly Chen Yu called out to them and they looked at him with tears in their eyes. Chen Zai hugged her brother and said that he scared them to death. They thought he was transferred to the city he. Chen Yu felt sick from her strong hug and he told her to stop. She let him go and he asked what was wrong with the city of He. She replied that for unknown reasons the animals changed their direction to the city of He. At about 4 o'clock in the evening the animals were already near the wall of the city of He. And at exactly 4 o'clock the connection with the city was cut off. Ten minutes later the city was wiped off the face of the earth. Chen Yu was very surprised to hear this and meanwhile a message was broadcast in the main square. All the people crowded around the big screen and listened to the man's speech. He said that their troubles are not over. He turned to his brothers and sisters, his compatriots, and told them to remember everyone who sacrificed themselves. He raised his hands and exclaimed that everything is for the sake of humanity. People on the streets of the city also raised their hands up and shouted that everything is for the sake of humanity. They continued to chant these words enthusiastically. Five days passed, Chen Yu went to the 314B space and time system. He looked at the system window that displayed his characteristics. Energy level is 0.7, strength level is 2, and warrior level is 1. Chen Yu scratched the back of his head and thought that it had returned to its previous value. A test is about to take place, he needs to push himself. He looked at the gun and said that it would be nice to have a good weapon worth 200,000 yuan. At that very moment he looked to the side and pointed the gun at the ball, imagining a scene from a movie, and said that his time had come. After that he thought it was stupid and it was time for him to work. He looked at the iron ball and thought, maybe there is something in the ball. He broke the ball in half and saw the microcircuit inside. He took a closer look and thought, is this the technology of the future? Then he will definitely get rich. He cut all the balls in the area and, while cutting the next ball, some liquid splashed on him and the system reported that an infection had occurred with an unknown liquid. The energy increased. Damage is done, 557 is added to the blood chi. Chen Yu inhaled and looked at the liquid and said that this is excellent. The oil increases the volume of strength. He cut all the remaining balls in the area and the system reported an increase in the attribute. After that he returned home and sat down at the computer. He looked at the chips and said it looked like there was something inside. He found a flash drive and thought, does anyone use a flash drive in this dimension? He inserted the flash drive into the computer and thought, he won't learn any secrets, will he? Some symbols appeared on the screen and he thought, what is this? He won't die, will he? And what is he thinking about? At the same moment his boss entered the room and he quickly pulled out the flash drive from the computer and turned to her, asking what is it? She said that there were four days left before the entrance exams, it was time for him to get down to business. Chen Yu thought that he barely made it in time. His boss immediately ran to the computer and asked what he was watching. Let him show her. She opened her desktop and saw her photo and said that he put a photo of her in a swimsuit on the screensaver, it's impressive. Chen Yu pulled her away from you and asked what she was talking about. It's her computer. She smiled and said that his face turned red. Chen Yu told her not to come near him. Time has passed. 
Chen Yu looked at the ticket prices and said that the cost of a ticket for the first row in Zona is 50,000 and for the second row is 35,000. This is a scam. These are quite ordinary seats. Even if he buys seats in the second row, he will still spend 70,000. Where will he get so much money? Can he use his body? After a while, Chen Yu came to some company and pestered a woman with a request to give him money and he would give her his first time. The woman hit him on the head and told him not to come, let him leave. He didn't even pass the medical examination, she doesn't want to pick up anything from him. Chen Yu fell to the floor at the feet of a man, who said that after careful checks, they discovered that the product had not yet appeared on the market. The woman told her subordinate that she understood, let him go. Her subordinate showed Chen Yu the microcircuit and said that the analysis results matched his words, the price would depend on how the dialogue went. Chen Yu grinned and told the woman to look, he didn't deceive her. This is the first thing created in the secret realm of 314B. This will be in demand on the market. He will give them a discount, from them 1 million. The woman replied that it costs 20,000. Chen Yu was surprised and said that he was not happy with such a price. This is the first time. This is the first time something like this has come here. Wouldn't that improve their reputation? He will agree for 50,000. The woman said that she will give 10,000. The first discovery only shows demand, not the fact that the result will be positive. Chen Yu was upset and said that then he would go to the black market. Finally he asked, should he go? He headed towards the door and said he was going. The woman smiled and thought that so be it. She said that she would give 30,000, if he does not agree, then let him leave. Chen Yu also grabbed her hand and said that he agreed. The woman said that they should make sure that no one had sold this product before them. Chen Yu replied that he would not deceive only a large company, but the motherboard is only 30,000. He reached into his pocket and took out the second motherboard and said that then let her buy a second one. The woman exclaimed in surprise, how many of them does he have? Chen Yu smiled and replied that there were only three. 30,000 for one, money forward. The woman replied that she would pay 30,000 just for the first one. Chen Yu asked, hasn't he earned her trust yet? She said that she would take the rest for 25,000. Chen Yu shook her hand and said that she had just acquired three unique motherboards created in the secret realm but he can sell her two more. The woman threw him over herself and exclaimed, how dare he behave like that? She put her foot on him and Chen Yu, calling her a beauty, invited her to live together. The woman and her guards kicked Chen Yu out of the company and he told them to contact again. After that, Chen Yu counted his money and said that it was a pity that he did not sell the rest. So he would earn 75,000 while he only has enough money for the second row. Where should he go next? He should visit the new educational institution. Meanwhile, in the seventh academic building, a couple of students were discussing the new kid among themselves. The fair-haired guy said that he heard that a student expelled from the second building was being transferred to them. Another guy asked, has school gone completely crazy? Why do they need such a lagging student? The girl agreed with them and said that she thought there was nothing to be proud of. The fair-haired guy said that he thought he was some kind of idiot. At the same moment, Chen Yu opened the door to the classroom with his foot and, going inside, asked, are they talking about him? The girl blushed as soon as she saw him and thought he was so handsome. The guys who were discussing him tensed up and one of them said that he didn't look like a brat. The teacher sternly asked why he froze in the doorway. Let him come in. Chen Yu was frightened by her stern tone and quickly walked inside to his seat. He looked at his desk, on which lay a dead rat and offensive inscriptions cut out, and thought that this was such a terrible reception. Evil glances were directed at him and the system reported that due to the evil aura, his spirit rose by 24 units. Chen Yu thought that the teacher too, everyone was not happy with him here. He was delighted and said that he received everyone's approval, how cool he is. The students looked at him in surprise and said that he was an idiot. There's definitely something wrong with him. The girl raised her hand and asked if she could sit next to him. He asked, but will they sit on the same chair? The girl imagined herself sitting on Chen Yu's lap and blushed. The teacher coughed, attracting attention to herself and said that if there is not enough space, then let him stand. First, she will talk about precautions before the entrance test. She walked between the rows of desks and said that the exam is held over two days. From July 7th to 8th of each year, it will take place the day after tomorrow. To determine their abilities, a game is played on the first day and to reveal their true strengths, a competition takes place on the second day. She looked at Chen Yu and said that it looked like he wouldn't last long on the first day. The system reported that psychological damage had been received, the spirit increased by three units. The fair-haired guy laughed and said that he was definitely finished. His friend said that he won't last long, so he can call him daddy now. Chen Yu got angry and quickly moved behind them, hitting their heads on the floor. He picked them up by the hair and asked why they were silent. They both called him daddy and said they were wrong. The teacher approached them and asked what was going on. What self will? If he wants to get banned, then let him stop behaving like that. Chen Yu thought that she was closing her eyes while they were laughing at him. Here they are, double standard. 
Chen Yu dismissed them and said that they would see each other tomorrow at the training ground. The next day, at the training ground, Chen Yu said that it was not easy, but he was able to wait for this day. His phone rang and he answered the call, asking Chen Zai, is she already at the arena? Where is she sitting? She shouted that she was calling to find out something. Tickets are very expensive. Where did he get the money for them? Did he do something illegal? His sister's scream attracted the attention of the students who were nearby and Chen Yu quietly told her to stop, let her better get something to eat, she doesn't have to worry about the rest. Meanwhile, in the arena, Chen Zai ended the call and told her mother that she thought he had gotten himself a rich woman. His boss, who was sitting in front, thought, what is she talking about? They're just on good terms. Meanwhile, the beginner's competition began. The host said that the first round is about to begin, so they will invite today's opponents. Ma Shuai from the 5th core and Chen Yu from the 7th core. Chen Yu walked up to the arena and Ma Shuai, who wrapped his hands in bandages, said that he would be the last one standing in this arena. Chen Yu stretched his hands and said that today is a turning point in his life. Ma Shuai asked, is it him? Chen Yu turned around and Ma Shuai said that he did not think that they would meet so soon. Chen Yu smiled and asked, well, was his help useful? Ma Shuai gritted his teeth in anger and remembered the situation 10 minutes before the start of the competition. Chen Yu was in the men's room and thought it was time to show off his strength. The guys crowded around him and Ma Shuai asked, is this really normal? The other guys looked down and said it was gigantic. This is simply amazing. The system reported that due to constraint, 24 units were added to fertility. Chen Yu zipped up his fly and said that he didn't think that he would start demonstrating his abilities already in the toilet. Ma Shuai asked what he was doing. Maybe he can teach him. Chen Yu said that he would show them something since he asked. He reached into his pocket and said that there was actually something that would help make it longer. Ma Shuai asked, is this true? Chen Yu took out a 6 cm ruler with 20 cm written on the end and said that this is all self-deception. He ran out of the toilet and said that he had to go, but let them check here for now. The guys got angry and one of them said that whoever fights him, let him finish him off. The rest agreed with him, and the girl who was peeking around the corner and watching them all this time thought that because of him her heartbeat had increased. How naive. But this Chen Yu is so interesting. Initially, she planned to see if he would show his abilities before the game, but she came across something that was much better than expected. Currently in the arena, the boys shouted to Ma Shuai that it was time for revenge. He knows where to hit, right. The host announced the start of the test and Ma Shuai put his hands on Chen Yu's shoulders and invited him to forget about their friction. A serious stage was coming. Chen Yu asked, isn't small a sentence. Ma Shuai immediately pushed him and exclaimed that this was such a humiliation. He directed his fist towards Chen Yu's groin and his friends rejoiced and began to support him. Ma Shuai struck and the system reported receiving damage, fertility plus 145. Ma Shuai grabbed Chen Yu by the head and said that he would see who would laugh now. Chen Yu smiled and said that his strength was not surprising. Ma Shuai asked again, is it okay? How so? His friends began to worry and Chen Yu swung his leg, about to hit Ma Shuai. Chen Yu hit him and he opened his mouth in pain and then fell to the floor and Chen Yu asked if he had shown his abilities enough. Ma Shuai cursed and said that his energy was exhausted. Why is he so out of control? Chen Yu asked, why be controlled? He replied irritably that he should show less energy during the competition. True power should not be used. But what if someone has it several times more? How wrong everything is. Chen Yu said that in this case, let him blame himself, not him. He bent over him and extended his little finger to him and said that he was offering him a truce. Ma Shuai gritted his teeth and said that he was an idiot. After that, the host raised Chen Yu's hand and congratulated the winner Chen Yu from the 7th building. Chen Yu thought that he believed that such a wave of energy was just what was needed. The second round began, Yingli from the second core against Chen Yu from the seventh core. Chen Yu splashed out his energy and Yingli, holding her skirt, told him to quickly remove such a flow of energy. Chen Yu didn't hear and asked, did she say more energy? Everything will be as she says. He released even more energy and Yingli said that she was giving up. The third round began, Zun Gong from the third core against Chen Yu from the seventh core. Zun Gong stretched the straps of his overalls and showed off his strength. The host said that he has such terrifying power, he thinks it's time for his opponent to admit defeat. But Zun Gong clung to Chen Yu and asked if, after the test, he would allow him to look at him with at least one eye. Chen Yu patted him on the head and then hit his head on the floor and Zun Gong said that he is so courageous, he likes him so much. Meanwhile, the support team shouted that the goddess was ready to strike. They wish her luck. The fourth round began, Liu King from the first core against Chen Yu from the seventh core. Liu King walked up to the arena and stretched, stretching her arms. Chen Yu asked, does she think she is a star? She smiled and said he was such a nice guy. Chen Yu thought she was so pretty, and how should he fight her? He approached her and said that she looked familiar. Maybe they met somewhere before. Liu King smiled and said that his pickup lines are quite old-fashioned, but she likes them. 
She thinks they might even go on a date after the competition. Chen Yu said that this is wonderful. The host got angry and asked if they could stop it already. They both agreed, and after that, Liu King immediately rushed to attack and jumped, putting her knee forward. Chen Yu grabbed her knee and looked under her skirt and said that they were Silk. The support group indignantly asked, Silk. They called out to Liu King and told her to repeat it. They asked Chen Yu if he could tell the color. Chen Yu let go of her knee and she began to fall towards Chen Yu. He spread his arms to the side and told her to fall. Liu King fell into his arms and he smelled something. There was silence and Chen Yu continued to smell it, thinking about the familiar smell. Five minutes before the exam he came out of the toilet and told the guys that envy is very bad. Liu King, who was spying on him from around the corner, thought that today she would personally test his abilities. As soon as Chen Yu approached her, she sneezed and apologized to him, saying that she had a cold. Chen Yu rubbed his nose and also apologized. Liu King took a napkin and reached out to his chest with her hand, saying that she would wipe it off. She started wiping her drool from his clothes with the thought that he had such strong pectoral muscles. This is simply amazing. Her hand began to move lower and she thought that he must be much more attractive without clothes. The system reported receiving a weakening, Psyche plus one. Chen Yu grabbed her hand and said that there was no need to wipe it there. This is a public place, she's standing too close. Liu King asked, is this kind of thing considered abnormal in public? Then she realizes how she caught a cold. She approached him and said that she would not resist. Chen Yu told her to stay away from him, he had no plans for her. She asked, are there any plans? Chen Yu spat at her and said that her body smelled too strong. Liu King looked at him in surprise and then screamed and said that she was drooling all over. She will die. Chen Yu said that she warned. Liu King got angry and suddenly fell to the floor screaming that he was a pervert. Chen Yu was surprised and thought it was a lie. The police immediately came running and said that this was an innocent girl. They will arrest him. The system reported that society had misunderstood him, spirit plus 24. Chen Yu began to run away and shouted that he had not done anything. The policeman asked, then why is he running away? His colleague said that they need to catch up with him quickly. Chen Yu continued to run away from the police and calling Liu King ugly thought that he remembered her. Currently, he still continued to smell her and thought, did she think that if she changed her clothes, he wouldn't smell her? Liu King said he was so strange. At the same moment, Chen Yu threw it over himself and hit it on the floor, and then the presenter announced that Chen Yu from the 7th Corps would win. Chen Yu sat down next to Liu King and asked if she was okay. The competition is over, they can. Liu King interrupted him and asked what he had come up with. She won't go on a date with him. Chen Yu asked what she was talking about. In his life he would never date such an ugly woman. She previously called him a pervert, so he decided to teach her a lesson. Liu King was surprised and thought, did he call her ugly? After that she exclaimed, how dare he? The leader says that the next group should come out. Liu King tells this idiot that he can't even imagine how good she is. A guy runs up to Chen Yu and says that he should go to their technological school in the city of Bicheng, because this is a paradise for real men. Chen Yu imagines several girls next to him and says that it sounds tempting. The guy says that their school is full of experienced teachers. No girl can do this. He can even practice fencing. Chen Yu gets angry and says that he should leave him. The guy is surprised and asks if he really didn't like the idea of a true man's paradise. Someone loudly wishes Chen Kaiji good luck and says that only victory awaits the seventh core. Chen Yu turns around and looks at the arena. The guy hits his opponent very hard and throws him out of the ring. The host raises the guy's hand and says that the winner is Chen Kaiji from the seventh building. The teacher asks, except for Chen Kaiji, there is no one else from their core, right? Chen Yu approaches her and asks, what about him? The teacher is angry with him and asks if he can't see that she's busy. Who is he anyway and what is he doing here? He must leave here as quickly as possible. Chen Yu says that her facial features are very angry. The teacher became even more angry and loudly said that she was not surprised that such a freak was expelled from the second building. Chen Yu is stopped by a man and a woman and the man says that they are examiners. Isn't he Chen Yu? He replies that they made a mistake and it's not him. The woman says they know who he is. Chen Yu asks why did they ask them? The woman says that according to the information provided by the 7th Corps, his power level is only 0.35, but his preliminary round score is much higher than the 0.35 mark. She hopes that he will not refuse to cooperate. The teacher says that he must have cheated, she didn't expect anything else from such garbage. The man asks who she is. The teacher says that she is his class teacher, she wants him to be punished to the fullest extent. They must invalidate its results. The man asks, did she see with her own eyes how he cheated? She must prove it. Because of this, the teacher immediately closed her mouth. The woman says they want to retest his strength level. Chen Yu lifts up his t-shirt and says that they don't have to worry about touching him. 
The teacher wonders if the examiners are confused by his attractiveness. He says they must hurry. A woman holds a device to test its power. The man behind her blushed and made a strange face. The teacher was shocked by what she just saw. The woman looks at the result that the device shows and says that its power level is 0.75. The teacher is very surprised and asks how is this even possible. The woman says that according to the data from the 7th building, its strength was 0.35. Why has this value increased so much now? The teacher began to worry and says that he had not gone to school before, so she filled out his form by accident. The woman asks who gave her this right. They will report this to the relevant authorities and she will definitely be punished. The teacher fell to her knees and says that her position, bonus, nothing else is left. The woman says that since his power level is 0.75, there will be no problems with the exam. The man hugs him and says that he will continue to root for him. The teacher asks, so in addition to the fact that he will not be expelled, he is now also supported. Chen Kaiji says that this is impossible, he did everything he could to be in first place. He runs to him very quickly and says that he cheated. He must taste his fist. The male examiner comes to his defense and pushes Chen Kaiji away with a very strong blow. He asks if he doubts their professional skills and questions their neutrality. Chen Kaiji gets angry and says that he would never dare to do such a thing. He thinks he remembers everything about this freak. After some time at the huge door, the man greets everyone and says that he is the chief examiner for their entrance exams. The main competition is about to begin and they should familiarize themselves with the rules. The current competition will be played on a knockout basis, subject to defeat. One loss and they are disqualified. They must be ready even to kill each other. They can write a will in advance. Welcome to the entrance exam. The door is open and the examiner says that the real test begins only now. It's their time to show themselves. Someone invites the participants to enter the arena. The second part of the exam will start soon. The people sitting in the stands say that they must look at how his brother's level has increased. People root for their friends and family and wish them success. Chen Zai tells his mother that she should look at Chen Yu. His level has increased, it's definitely him. In the VIP area, a member of the admission committee of Tsinghua University says that this year he will not dare to intercept his students. A member of the admissions committee at Qingcheng University asks when did he do this. The host says that all candidates are invited to the battle arena. He repeats again, all candidates must move on. All students are sitting in comfortable chairs at this time. Chen Yu lies among them and hums a melody. He notices someone laughing and asks, is this the famous guy? The director of the seventh building tells the men behind him that they must quickly grab him. Chen Yu asks what are they doing? Do they really want to kidnap him in front of everyone? The men grab him and he asks what is he doing? Even the director is not allowed to do this. He will tell you everything about him. The director says that he will see who cares about him. They have to start. Chen Yu says he can't stay here. The men give him a massage and he says that he cannot get up. The director asks what will he talk about, that he shows kindness to students and does not break laws. They just wanted to give him a massage. Pretty girls used to do this, but they were reported on. Chen Yu blushed and asked, is this human? The director takes him by the hands and asks, has he finally understood him? Good figures of girls are the most important weapon for which he diligently trains. He wants to release all his power. He looks at the teacher and says that it looks like the old teachers will need to be replaced in order to fill the students with enthusiasm. The teacher gets angry and thinks that she needs to endure everything. Damn director, it's no wonder that the seventh building is not famous for anything good. The director says that it's time to share the information received. Over so many years, he has been able to see a lot from this test. Priority is given to the core that scored the best score in the first stage. All in all, it's not that hard to get started, so. He did not have time to finish because another student flew next to him and the students and crashed head first into the wall. A man runs up to him and says that he should not be discouraged. Chen Yu asks the director in his ear if this is too cruel. The director coughed and said that in any case, scars adorn a man. The doctor gives the student a heart massage and asks what's wrong. Is everything okay? The student spits out a large amount of blood and the second doctor says that he will give him painkillers, they need to perform an operation. The presenter says that he invites participants to the second stage. Number 1, 3rd Core Wang Ai vs 3rd Core Lai King. Number 2, Zhao Guo's 9th core against Bai Tian's 9th core. Number 3, Gong Lao's 1st core against Xing Po's 1st core. Number 4, 7th core Chen Yu vs 7th core Chen Kaiji. The competition begins, they must see what happens next. The first couple starts the battle, by the way they are a couple. The girl strangles the guy and he tells his future wife that she should strangle him because he wants to rest. The presenter says that two of the 9th building are famous school bullies. Who will be the strongest? One of them says that he was kissed by a goddess yesterday. She wrapped her beautiful legs around him and then thanked him. The second says that the goddess will belong to him because he is the most diligent. 
The presenter says that two from the first building are also school rivals. Which of them will win? The girl attacks the other and asks who said she couldn't handle it. The host asks, what about the two from the seventh building? Why don't they move? Currently, viewers can watch the first players who are each other's lovers. The girl lets go of the guy's neck and says that she cannot do this to him for the sake of victory. The guy coughs and says that his level is in any case lower than hers, so he would lose. The girl says that he should shut up because she's giving up. The guy hits himself in the chest very hard with his fist and says that then he will do this. The girl picks him up with tears in her eyes and calls him Lie King. He says he doesn't manage his energy well. Maybe today he will have to part with her forever. Wang Ai loudly says that a doctor is urgently needed here. She jumps off the arena and tells the doctor that he needs to help him quickly. The doctor says that the competition is not over yet. Is she even normal? Wang Ai says that this is not so important because he is on the verge of life and death. The doctor points his finger at the arena and asks, is she sure about this? The host says that the player Wang Ai has left the battle arena, which means that she is considered eliminated. Winner Lai King. Wang Ai gets very angry and asks, was he pretending? Lai King agrees and says that otherwise, she would definitely defeat him. The presenter says that entrance exams are very important. For the sake of this, some go to extraordinary lengths and even betray their lovers. At the same time in the second arena, two guys simultaneously say that the goddess is looking at him. The presenter says that everything is stable here. They both stand up and say he can't lose. All he can do is win. The guy defeats the second one and says that the goddess should look at him. To the third arena. The second girl raises her head and says that she has lost and she will not see happiness, so she must give up her pathetic attempts. The presenter says that the person who wins the test will be the first to receive the opportunity to enter. While the others are fighting so fiercely, those two in the fourth arena haven't moved a single step. What's wrong with them? Some time ago, the director tells them that tactics are very important. Thanks to this, even lives can be saved, so they must do as he says. They should wait. In the beginning people will still pay little attention to them, as they will be carried away by other arenas. So they must wait until the others lose. Cheng Kaiji asks, will it be possible to advance then? The director hits him on the head and says that it's too early to talk about this. It's better for them not to dream all sorts of dreams. He was the director of the seventh building for many years, no student had ever achieved promotion so quickly. Currently, the director asks what he is doing. They must stick to tactics. Chen Yu says that he is almost there, so he must admit defeat. Chen Kaiji says that he cannot act so easily in front of the director, so he must admit defeat. Chen Yu asks loudly, didn't he hear what he was told? He must surrender. Chen Kaiji says that his level is lower, so he should give up. The presenter loudly says that let the one whose level is lower admit defeat. The director thinks that very soon the seventh building will lose the remnants of respect. There is only one thing left. He says loudly that they must fight if they don't want it any other way. Chen Kaiji is angry about what happened recently and says that he will regret his decision. It's time to pay him back. Chen Yu picks his nose and says that he likes to throw around all sorts of phrases too much. Chen Kaiji uses the accumulation of Kai energy and a strong energy begins to surround his body. The presenter asks, is this really martial arts? But this is taught only in universities. No one will die, will they? The man behind him says that he must be from a family where they taught martial arts from childhood. Chen Kaiji kicks using a martial arts secret kick technique. He smiles and thinks that he is one of the descendants of a great family, and he is just a non-entity. He throws a very strong flying kick with his left leg using his energy. The presenter says that there has been an explosion and people should bend down. Chen Zai was very scared, just like her mother, and thinks that everything seems so terrifying. Is this the end? Chen Yu blocked this strong blow with his hand and the host said it loudly. He didn't use his energy when blocking the blow, that's terrifying power. How is this even possible? A member of the admissions committee says that it seems that the students in building 7 are not so bad. Chen Zai is very surprised and asks, is this really her brother? The boss thinks, is this what he gets? Chen Kaiji asks how is this possible? His blow was very strong, how did this happen? Chen Yu says that he shouldn't think that he is the only one who knows martial arts. Chen Kaiji is very surprised and angry at what he sees. He asks what he is doing. Chen Yu threw him into the air and says that he is hitting him back. He kicks him, leaning on the floor and says that this is a secret technique of the Northeast. Would he like to try his techniques? He deals a lot of blows and because of the force of these attacks, a large cloud of dust rises in the arena. His family members, members of the commission and the rest of the spectators watch their battle in amazement. Everyone starts to rejoice and say it was great. Chen Zai cried with joy and said that Chen Yu was able to win. Mom says it's wonderful, she's very glad that everything is fine with him. One of the commission members says that he has not met such an interesting candidate for a long time. Chen Kaizi thinks that this is impossible, an excluded outcast cannot have such power. He says loudly that he must have taken dope. 
Chen Yu agrees and says that he is right, but he doesn't want to explain. He leaves the arena and rejoices at his victory. The boss looks at him and says that in the future she shouldn't call him a puppy because now in front of her is a real wolf cub. The teacher grabs Chen Yu's hand and says that she heard everything. He admitted that he had taken doping. They should go to the principal, his exam result should be cancelled. She cannot allow him to ruin the hopes for a happy future for a good student. Chen Yu says that it turns out that she can't even understand jokes. The teacher says that he should close his mouth. She approaches the director and says that there have never been students like him in their school. This is outrageous. He was doping, their core reputation was ruined. The director asks if this is true. In that case, why doesn't anyone else think so? Everyone has the same opinion that Chen Yu simply has great potential. He will side with this champion. He won't let him down, will he? The teacher gets very angry and says that he is a traitor. She turns around and notices someone. The man says he fought really well. His name is Chen Yu, right? The teacher calls this man the mayor. She points her finger at the director and asks why he is covering for a student who used doping. He admitted it himself. The director asks who is covering for him. He was just joking. The mayor asks, is this true? The man next to him says he doubts it would be enough for such blows. Chen Yu is surprised and asks if he doubts it. The man calmly says that he has not yet passed his exam. Chen Yu says that he can defeat them at any time using his energy. He strikes and asks if he really thinks that he can do anything to oppose it to the technology of the Northeast. The system notifies that due to physical activity his characteristics have increased, physical strength 500 points, strength 78 points. The man easily withstood his blow and simply dusted off his clothes. He chuckled and this surprised Chen Yu very much. The teacher tells the director that he should look, he definitely took doping. The drugs had worn off, so his strength was gone. The director thinks about his strength. The mayor says it's just the opposite. Not to mention the first and second level warriors, even the third level warriors would not have survived, but Chen Yu could. The man says that everything is not so bad. When he observed him, he thought that his strength was about 1.3, but when he personally struck, he realized that his strength was 1.4. Currently, the doping that is sold on the market improves physical strength only for a while, the level does not rise above 1. The director says that it turns out that he did not cheat, this is his real strength. The seventh core becomes the champion at these introductory ones. He turns to the teacher and says that she should come to him. She constantly plotted against Chen Yu, and for a teacher this is unacceptable. As punishment, he finds her half her salary. The teacher is very surprised by this and asks not to take her salary. Chen Yu says that his strength was confirmed by the mayor himself. If someone also wants to make sure of this, they can attack. People rush to him and say that he will be theirs. He is surprised and asks who they are. People run up to him with business cards and say that there are a lot of girls studying at Kainan University. Welcome to Jingdu. Singho University needs him. Chen Yu waves them off and says they can keep their business cards. Besides Tsinghua and Jingdu Universities, the rest are free to go. Chen Yu sits on the chair and says that he is quite a practical person. He will go to study with those who provide the best conditions. Maybe they should go to the authorities first and then to him. If he doesn't like it, he'll simply transfer to another university. He thinks that even though he is going to Jingdu anyway, he wants to see what else they can offer him. The host says that a new round will begin soon. Chen Yu, the dark horse from the previous game, against Wang Duo from the fourth core. What will they show? They'll see it now. The guy enters the arena and says that he knows him. The strength he showed in the last competition was top-notch. But this competition will end very quickly for him. Chen Yu thinks that the fourth core is also considered one of the best in King City, he has not heard about the shortcomings of their core. The host says that the competition will begin in just 5 seconds. The countdown begins. Wang Du begins to release a huge amount of Kai energy during the countdown. The host announces the start of the competition and the guy attacks, and the aura of a tiger appears behind him. Wang Du falls to his knees and speaks that he is giving up. Chen Yu asks in surprise, has he decided to give up? He says that of course, because he said that everything would end very quickly. Chen Yu asks, then why didn't he at least try? Wang Du asks if he feels sorry for him. Is he sure that it is worth doing this? He should let him clear something up. Even if he lends him a helping hand or even two, and even if he stretches out his legs, he still won't stop him from admitting defeat. Chen Yu turns around and leaves saying that in that case, there is nothing more to talk about. No matter how strong he is, he doesn't seem to be able to see it. At the same time on the top floor of the arena, the guy says that he is kind of ruthless. Most likely, he will be able to take part in subsequent competitions. Whoever meets him, good luck to that person. The other guy says they shouldn't say that, after all, they are the best players. The girl says that all the same, official competitions are measured by the level of skills and not by the amount of strength. It would be embarrassing to lose to such an opponent. The guy with glasses says that he heard that this guy Chen Yu's level is only 0.7 
and their weakest ally is above 1.0. Ban Wang Yao asks why this guy's back seems so familiar to her. 